Hello, everyone! And welcome to another older but stronger episode of Raw Talking It. I'm your designated gamer, Titus. And uh, over there is the older one. That's our backseat, Joe. And uh, we're continuing Final Fantasy VII Remake. I say stronger because off screen, I did the push, I did the pull ups with Tifa. Um, I will prove it right here for those doubters. Bam! Done. Voila. So we are always time a one train. stronger Tifa and a one older Joe. Um, if you want to see Titus break his goddamn brain, check out the Twitch VODs. We played Stanley Parable for Joe's birthday last week. Was so much fun. Um, <laughs> it was so much it fun. It <laughs> hurt me physically and mentally. I'm not sure I have recovered yet. It was so much fun. <laughs> just so did not know what to expect. I actually, so I can't happy. believe I've gone through a lot of life in touch with video games and have never seen anything about that game. Yeah. I, it's, I think it's because it's just, you can't, you literally cannot talk about the game without <laughs> explaining what it is, which, which kind of ruins the whole impact that you just can't talk, you can't talk about that game. Um, and so uh i i, saw I i'm glad and i was similar and the thing is i need to go play more because i know for, I, there's so much more i i'm i know i don't know i so i want i do want to revisit it soon i don't know if i ever want to replay it again well i mean that's it. it's not replaying it there's you barely scratched the surface i know the you barely did any and th likewise you you maybe did I think I did a couple endings you didn't do and you did a couple endings I didn't do. Um so like but yeah, there's a lot left. But okay, so I have a list of the stuff of that we need to do. As a reminder, don't go to Corneo's place uh mm -hmm. yet. That's the last thing we're doing. Or almost the last thing we're doing. Technically we're it, it'll be a thing. Um We have I have on my list the power of music, which is the quest yep. for the girl, the which discs. we're still working on. Which we still need to find some. We found a couple. We need to do malicious goons, which I don't know if we did already. Or if, or, I, or was that the Tomberry one? It was the Tomberry one. Did we, is that done? Is there no, like, yeah. uh... There's no, like, little tidbit left? Should we be done? I think. Um... Secret Medicine, which I think is the one we're still doing. Um, yeah, there's the old lady here. I figure out what the hell we're doing. I hear Corneo's got secret I mean, you're... Oh, yeah, it's the... We... Than even he knows if the rumors are true. Oh, the All secret right. stashes. Yeah. We have to open the, the secret stashes. The last one I have is in the sewers. Yeah, okay, so let me look at the quest. It might actually be time to go do the sewers, then. Um, no, I think there's one more that I have to do. Corneo's secret stash. Yeah. Power of music, secret medicine. One, two, so, three. Secret stash. So we have a quest that we haven't gotten yet. Yeah, and one more it looks like, yeah. But we did we did malicious goons, so that's gone. Well the uh, the missing one is oh, oh, go back to the, the park that's like between the sectors or whatever. Mmm, the playground. Yeah, we need to talk to I think his name is Wiss or Weiss or Wiseman or something like that. I need to get familiar with the game again real quick, so I'm just gonna oh, I'm smack sure. these idiots around a bit. Yeah, we need to... Because I was like, we have to go back to the sewers, but we also have to go back to the facility where we found Wedge. That's the other place we need to go. And also, before we do the sewers, I don't know if you've gone and spent all your Moogle medals? Yeah, we did already. Because we, we had to get the... Um... You bought the books? We had to get them the no, one thing, the uh, mortar and pestle. For, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For the secret medicine. Um, say mortar and pestle five times fast. I I can't. I can I barely know. say it once. I know. That's I mean yeah. Um. But yeah, so, and we're also missing a disc. That's the other problem. Such a weird. Word. And you and if you don't pronounce the T at all, I believe. I, I believe you just say pestle. I don't know. I've heard it both ways. I don't know which one's right. Well, I know, but I've heard people say gelato, and they're not right. <laughs> I mean, 
That's a. F you know what? You're right. Um. Yeah, I can. Let me look up. I can look up the power of music real fast and just find the discs. Um. So we have, uh, while we're doing side quests, we actually have a, well, kind of a lot to discuss, but not as much as you would want. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael told me I should probably go through the direct, or he, he asked if I had. I was like, go through the direct and look at all the announcements. I'll pull up the video of the direct, and I will just page through it. Number one, um, we not, I don't have much to say about farming simulators. <laughs> I, I generally do, actually. I like them. I think they're fun. Um, and we can we can actually kind of talk about it okay. a, a bit. But yeah, so for those who um, just pay attention to this and haven't really paid attention to gaming news, Nintendo Direct happened. There was a bunch of announcements for a bunch of games coming up, and we got, got some info on some stuff, and so it's just some things we're going to talk about. And then we also yeah. had a state of play later that same day it's only which, half an hour long. Nothing interesting happened. <laughs> ah! All right, that's, yeah, okay. Mm, yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so, so, stepping through the direct. Uh, Fire Emblem Engage. Okay, let's, there is some unhappy people. So, number one, I was wrong. I thought it was a Warriors sequel. It mm. is not. Mm. It is, it is a true Fire Emblem game. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's it's the actual Fire but Emblem it, series. But it involves summoning summoning people from the other Fire Emblem With games. your emblem ring of they, power thing? They say they they call the characters the emblem. And just to be clear, Fire Emblem The Fire Emblem? Uh, are you there? I'm here. Okay, you my internet was taking up that for sure, sorry. Um the Fire Emblem is a literal object in every Fire Emblem. For example, uh, Marth's shield, if you've ever seen that shield with those, like, five gems on it, yeah. that is the Fire Emblem in the Awakening and Shadow Dragon universes. In, uh, Roy's games, his sword, I believe, the, I believe the Binding Blade is the Fire Emblem. Um, really? In the case of Three Houses, it's the We're Crest of Flames, which is the Crest of Byleth. Uh, which also comes up in other ways in the story, but the crest, which is this like hereditary magical power that people have. Some people have crests and some don't. Byleth's crest of flames is the fire emblem. Hmm. And so on and so forth. Every game has a literal fire emblem. Um, Take and out. so in this case, they call the characters that are being summoned emblems. And so... Either the device which you use to summon them is the emblem, or the idea, or like maybe literally Marth is the emblem in this game. The yeah, um, Fire Emblem is not just a, it's a literal item in the games. I don't know. When we're watching the trailer over again, um, it's like their ring like summons the yeah. the heroes of the past, is what they said. Well, see, that's the other thing that's weird about it. They're not in the same universe. Which, like, the whole idea of, like, a multiverse kind of situation doubt. is canon in Fire Emblem. But it's weird that they say that they're from the past, because those characters are not all from the same world. Like, some of them are. Krom and Lucina are from a world several thousand years after the events of Marth, which is why Tiki is the same individual in both games, because dragons live for a long time. Yeah, that's why you can loot her, apparently, because she's old as shit. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Well, in Awakening, she's actually an adult because she's like 5,000 years old. Um, and she looks like an adult. Um, Thank but, God. But then, like, Roy and, like, Elwood and Roy are from the same universe because those games are sequels that are, like, 20 years apart. But they're in a different game from Sigurd and Leaf, who are also, like, they're yeah. all different universes. So it's weird. But then again, Fates also... Three of the characters in Fates are literally summoned. They are characters from Awakening who have been summoned into the world of Fates, mm. which is a different universe. So just like, it just seems weird to me, though, because those are like permanent characters who were summoned one time only, and none of them are the main characters. This is like, we're summoning the Lords. And uh, yeah, also the choices on who the Lords were was a little interesting. There's a couple that I was surprised by. Um, so I don't really know very much about Fire Emblem. I'm not the Fire Emblem guy. I don't really. To I'm not me, either. To me, it seemed like from watching that trailer, 
that it is very much a fan service type game where they were like we don't know who we want to put in we don't know how we want to do this so let's make this anime as hell and just make it so you can summon your favorite characters and then you get to play with everybody and so everybody's happy now so uh, so on one hand yes on the other hand i do find people aren't happy with that apparently well people are like we already have heroes which is the mobile game which is like that's what heroes is if we want to summon it's like i want new characters first off second i understand why people don't like why some people like the visuals and other people don't like the visuals i totally get that it was appealing um, it was like it's pretty i just don't think it's it doesn't really look like fire emblem anymore and i'm I'll be the first person to say they get to choose what their game looks like. And if if this appeals to more people, that's great. Yeah. Or, or whatever, but also, like, it's less appealing to me because I want... What's up, Thread? I want knights, and I want, you know... Well, you don't want anime ladies I don't slicing want you up? Yeah, I, that's... Just like, you can play a different game for that. Team. I can play Genshin Impact if I want character. <laughs> I want the Fire Emblem character. I, and, and you know... I I think I agree with you. We're doing well, Thrad. We're talking about the Nintendo Direct right now. Um, again, I I'm not a, a Fire Emblem person, so I don't have a I don't really have a preference either way. But I do think it's a little odd that they're kind of going away from this. I would say that Fire Emblem is more like a '90s type anime style, where it's more traditional ish, where it is knight dragon elf fa very traditional fantasy type things with the with the whole royalty aspect and stuff and swords and bows and axes and shit and now they're like you know what anime titties let's go and it's like yeah i, I know some people some sure series, some series <laughs> fans didn't like that awakening led the way towards the like half dating sim half combat game and i can understand that but i'm also like yeah but it was really successful and i really did enjoy it but the thing I think here for me is more that it's not that it's any worse. It's just that like this one just doesn't appeal to me. It feels to me like it's lost its identity a little bit. Or it's trying it's like, to branch out and find a new identity. Yeah, and I'm like, and and well, and maybe that's what the series needs from a business standpoint. I could just understand why people are like, and that a little. Could... Oh wait, don't leave! Don't leave! Don't leave! Why? There was question mark music, so somebody has a disc for you nearby. Damn it! I already left. Oh my god. It's fine, I can go back. I, mean, I have I know, three but, trips. But yeah, no, there was, it, in the top left, it showed the question marks. I'm like, well, there's music. I don't uh, know if it's the one you need for the quest. Because I looked over to it. talk to you, so yeah. that's why. Not um, too shabby now, is it? Um, um, but no, so I, like I said, it, it's fine. This is about all I, I just, carry. like I said, I just don't think it quite appeals to me in the same way. Um, I personally don't really care about the main character's design. It is a little wacky, but like... It's weird. It's a little weird, but I get it. The whole point is that if you watch the combat, they're literally fusing. Yeah. And there's like combat where it's like, you can tell they've taken on a different physical form. They have a different outfit. They've grown like wings or whatever. And it literally says Alir and Marth, like as one character who are attacking. Yeah, and so like the whole idea is that he's a fusion of two people. So like, I definitely, I definitely think this is trying to animate it up and try to grab that audience. Uh, it yeah. really, really seems that way. Yeah, and like I said, maybe it'll be a great game. It is a, it is an actual Fire Emblem game. It is yep. not a Warriors game. Yep. It is a grid-based tactical whatever. I mean, visually, to be honest, was the first time I was like, oh, this actually well, looks like a game I could maybe play, but I'm not gonna. The other thing too <laughs> is. Three Houses did a lot of things right, mm -hmm. but the graphics were just kind of fine. And there were there were some specific moments, namely support scenes, that looked bad. bad. And I don't know how it got oh. hey, Barry. into the damn game. Hey. <laughs> like weird. It was be Why? better. It was like really like number of the, those scenes. Survivors. The models are fine, but the but background is atrocious. And I was always like, how another mess on my did this happen? <laughs> like these, how, <laughs> how did this get out of lab? beta? Yeah. They're how true. did? How is this is what we one. landed on? This Hidden is not good. <laughs> and, it's full of um, and if, so if having a new you studio, which we didn't say this yet, it's Gust, which is the studio that does Atelier Riza. 
Um, I oh, it's they're, a dangerous job. They're doing yeah, the new game. No else they're do doing it. the visuals. Well, it is yeah. supposedly. Oh, it is that? supposedly a collaboration between Intelligent Systems, who owns Fire Emblem, Koei Tecmo, who does the Warriors games, and Gust, who does the visual, who does Atelier Riza. Now a lot of things make sense. So that's why the characters look like Atelier Riza characters. That's why they look thick. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I will say though. Thick. I will say I do appreciate mm-hmm. that even if a lot of these characters look like We're not strong knightly characters, but I, everybody is skinny, uh, skinny teenagers or whatever. Mm-hmm. It does appear that they're not literal children, which was one of my beefs with Three Houses, where it, you're students in a school, and so it's. That's they were like royalty studying to be officers or whatever, so all of them were nobility to some extent, uh, but they were also literal children, um, at least in the first half of the game. And so this one, everybody looks really young and stuff, but at least they seem to have like an actual knight character. There was a guy with a beard. There was, so hopefully that is a little bit better. How the hell do we get back to the coll- to the Shinra test site though? That is. Uh, what's it's isn't it down through the it's on the map, it's right next Take to you. Time and walk at your own pace. Ah, it's this you thing, yeah. Oof. Grody, but also, you did you ever go back and get that disc? No, I'm doing this first. Oh, okay. Some quests or treasures take you underground, hold L1 to return. I just say, yeah, that's ground. how you just what you leave when you're done. Okie dokie, well, that's fine. Um, yeah, I mean. <laughs> we could talk about Atelier as well because it's kind of funny. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, Anyways, that comes out in January, which is also shockingly soon. It also confirms the. Leaks. How many fucking games are coming out in February, dude? It also confirms it's January. Uh, January. I know, but like in this in this time period when all of these games are be- like getting announced, January February seems absurd yeah. this next year. Uh, oh, the one final thing too is the leak that had information about this about Engage, also indicated that they are remaking another Fire Emblem game, and I mm. think it's I think it's the Ike game. Interesting, isn't it the th- Japanese? Never mind. Okay, anyway. Oh no! Is it? Wait, they're remaking Genealogy? Okay. If that's the one, I th- if that's the one that's being rumored, that's an interesting choice. Genealogy of the Holy War is Seleph and Sigurd. Or, well, I believe it's technically Seleph. Sigurd has a game that's... Again, making the old games more accessible is... Thracia. It's it's another one that I don't know if it ever got released in the West, which would make sense. Um, because Gaiden was the other one that remade, and that was another one... The first Echoes game was Gaiden, which was one that didn't get released in the West. So if it's Genealogy of the Holy War, that would be an interesting choice for them to be like, yeah, we're going to we're gonna remake this one because the West never even got it. Um, and it's supposedly a really good game. That one's all about, like, Seleph uh, is the son of Sigurd, and it's all about, like, families having people married off to one each up to each other and people being deemed traitors and stuff like that uh, it's very much a like classic nobility uh like uh intrigue and politics type situation with that um which could be fun so if that's the one that's being remade that's really cool Self is really is really well liked Hmm. Anyways, okay. Then we got it takes two four, which is like fine. Uh, that's very it's very cool, but I don't know how it's gonna run on Switch. Yeah, I mean probably it'll be it's fine. Not, it's not cloud based, so I have no idea how they're gonna do that. Was it takes two that big of a deal? Um, I don't. It's not like intense graphics or anything, but I I think there's a lot of things that go on at once, especially that there's two. There. Um, if you play like online and stuff, the what's the word? What's the word? What's the cloud? Word? The ping, the I don't know. The connection between the two people has to be pretty, pretty oh, good. Oh, latency. Thank you, latency. Appreciate that. That's interesting. I never would have guessed that. It didn't seem like it was that intense graphically. It seemed like it was very heavily stylized. So I just sort of assumed that it would be fine. 
But either way, uh, Fatal Frame, which this is apparently, by the way, the support of a Fatal Frame game. That we that, never got. That the West never got, so that's what that one is. Yeah. Uh, Xenoblade DLC news, which, like, I'm excited about, but there's really not much to say. Uh, um, and, and like, back, back. first of all, Fatal Frame has such a, like, a cult following. I never played them, but I know people who like them, so I'm happy for you. That's really cool. I, I would almost, the only thing is I would almost be a little bit mad that they just continue to port and it's, and they don't, yeah, taking pictures of ghosts. It seems like they're not interested in making a new Fatal Frame. It really does seem that way though, right? Which, it's like, you could, odd. you could, why do you not? But we're just going to do the same thing, okay? Yeah, we're just going to port everything first. It's like, okay, this is cool and all, like, that, there's nothing wrong with doing that, but it feels like that should be in addition to. I would agree. If they're going to be doing something like that. I, I, I also think it should be in addition to... Alright. Glossing over Spongebob. Well, you don't want to talk about Spongebob? Glossing over Fist of the North Star Boxing. <laughs> no, that's the best! That's the best one! Another dodgeball you get, game. You get, you get fit by punching. Um, Tunic, though. That's very Tunic's exciting. good news. That's, That's really good news. It's now basically on every platform, or will be shortly. Which I do want to play it. I don't know what I don't know what platform I'll play it on, but I do I do really want to play Tunic. Um, I like. I didn't know that it had it. That the whole idea was that you have instruction manuals in the game, like old timey video game instruction manuals, but they're not written in English, so you just have to like kind of figure it out. God, I miss old instruction manuals. That's that's the whole vibe, is that they put one of those in the game, but most of it's gibberish, and then some of it is not gibberish. I just miss them, like, you know, when you when you bought a game and you're yeah. driving home and you're reading the thing, you know how you play the game by the time you get back home? Oh, good times. Yep. Such, such simpler times. Uh, front mission first. Uh, I don't. The Vonzers. Right? The Vonzers are back. It's a tactics mecha. Yeah, it's a it's a remake. It's a total remake. It's a square property. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy for those who. Uh... Then we get farming game number one: Story of Seasons. This is the first one remade, I believe. Is it the first Story of Seasons game? Maybe not the very first one. Oh. We need Kitty here, damn it. Uh, yeah. All right, next is the Splat Fest. Well, ho hold on, hold on. No, this no. game looks adorable. I want to... I know, but I've heard, a lot of fun. I've heard good things about this game. And this game, well, actually, this is the... What's it called? The Wonderful Life? Yeah, A Wonderful Life. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, it's insanely like, good. And, and it added homosexual gay marriages... No, I, didn't, I don't see that for Story of Seasons. I thought it did. That was that was a different one that we saw. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure, because it looked okay. way more anime. Okay, okay. Maybe it was. All right. But uh, it looks great, and I've heard, after playing, which we'll talk about in a little bit, after playing one of the demos of another game that got released, this one is apparently just more recommended to play. Just, just play uh, Wonderful Life. <laughs> All right, moving on. We've got Splatfest. Don't care. I like it's cool, but I, like there's nothing notable to say other than there is a Splatfest happening. Yeah, I mean, cool. Good. Splatfest is great. That game oh, sold so well, it's crazy. It sold more. In, it sold more copies in Japan than, than Pokemon, Pokemon. In Japan. It's like the number one first week opener or something like that. Just. Absolutely wild. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty nuts. I'm so glad people like it. I'm glad the game is doing well. It shows yep. that, you know, Nintendo has a hit with that game. So just keep supporting it. That is. That Freak is yourself. a new. I think it goes Mario, Zelda, Splatoon now. And don't come back. Yeah. I am, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because it's also the only other one that I'm aware of that's wholly owned by Nintendo. Because like Kirby is Hal. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So many of the other titles are tech, like Xenoblade's Monolith. There's um, it's Metroid is Metroid might actually be them. I'm not sure about Metroid. Yeah, but when was the last 
good Metroid well, game besides Dread that's come out in the yeah. last 10 years. Where's Metroid saying. 4? Whatever the fuck we've been promised 18 times. Yeah. Okay, next up, Octopath 2. Yeah. Which, like, I just did not expect. And I'm a big, I'm a big fan. I really liked it, and I am. I don't. I'm know. very surprised. I don't know where this came from, why it came, but cool. I mean, it was the first one was more successful than anticipated. And but Triangle Strategy I didn't do well. It did okay, as I understand. And then there was also... Wasn't there another HD 2D? Oh, Live Alive. Live Alive, yeah. Which I need to play, because people say it's good. Yeah. Um, but we're also getting the Dragon Quest upgrade as well. That will be the HD 2D stuff. Yes. yes. Um, so, yeah. I, just, I didn't expect it. It's weird. It feels like... It just feels very, very strange I, that I did not expect it. Um, one actually will thing, thing I will add is they did actually release a bit like a press kit um, the next day or something like that that, in, that has a ton of more information about how some of the systems work more specifically, um, which is really, really interesting. And they talk about how bigger soundtrack, they talked about the conscious choice of changing... Um, they wanted to not tread on the toes of the original too much, and so that's why it's in a different power era. Um, which that was just like they wanted to distance themselves both in place by going to a new continent or a new planet, whatever, and time uh, by going to a different era so that they could. I don't see why not. Characters can have their own identity. Yeah, it makes sense. Get um, away from the first one while be also being familiar. Yeah. Oh, that is... Okay, so I saw... Um, they show all the characters, and I saw something about how one of the characters, the key art, the scholar, he's, like, chained to a desk in his writing, and his story is listed as a story of revenge. And I did not realize I'd seen a comment about it, but in one of the scenes, there's a line of dialogue, and uh, I quote, We find you guilty of the murder of your wife and daughter, for which you are sentenced to life imprisonment on island. So uh, he was framed for the murder of his family, apparently. So that'll be a fun story. That's fucked up. Which, I mean, again, the dancer in Octopath 1, uh, her father was murdered for... Yeah, the reasons. show doesn't really... Or show, wow. The game doesn't really stray away from, like, fairly... Oh, no. well, um, they get into... Dark. The dancer story in particular, because women being exploited is a major theme so like yeah so that's really interesting that his the scholar this time is the one with the dark storyline because like the dancer is i want to be a star um and the warrior is wants a land free of conflict the merchant apparently wants to get rid of poverty his thing is like he's a good guy merchant he's a merchant who wants to like abolish pov poverty he's just, man he's just looking out yeah, socialist propaganda. Um, socialist propaganda. Oh my god. And then we have the thief, who if the thief is the one we know like literally nothing uh, about. Uh, throne or throne a? We'll have to know how that's pronounced. Um, the hunter, who is a cat girl. Fine, fine. But she she's a cat like a lady thing. She's basically. I'm, I'm just saying, there were no non-humans in the other Octopath game, so I, we didn't need a cat girl. She's basically yeah. from Dragon Quest Seven. It's fine. I, I, like, I get it. I'm not thinking about it. Like, we didn't need a cat girl in this series. There's it's another anime-like esque game that has like a cat girl who's been in the woods and stuff. Fuck, I don't remember. Yeah, she. I, yeah, hers is a journey for legends, so I don't really know what that's about either. She's trying to hunt the biggest game, man. Well, but she seems like she's friends with the animals, but then she also seems like she hunts them too, so, like, mm, TBD on that, maybe. <laughs> we'll find um, out, I guess. We'll find out. Then there's uh, the Apothecary, who's a journey for memories, and she appears to be an amnesiac? Uh, and I will say, her key art is her carrying a child, an unconscious child on her back from the remains of, like, a burning shipwreck. 
So this is gonna be a uh, boss. People think so. In the first game, the apothecary is also surprisingly a badass, and so people are thinking that once again the apothecary is gonna be like a a, a pocket <coughs> badass that people were not expecting. Um, because yeah, Alan, oh, he's like it's like a behemoth. Here. Yes. Yeah, it is a behemoth. It's a it's type just, zero behemoth. It is a behemoth. Yep. All right. Have fun. I have a feeling uh, this is gonna be difficult. I think this is the one that was immune to fire. I think this is the one I told you about where I was like, oh, I completely it's immune to sleep. Up. Well, that's fine. Immune. Not immune. Oh, cripple and knock down its upper or lower body while it's well, one is knocked down. Do the same to the other to stagger the beast. Will counter if attack with spells while its horns are intact. You can't hit it with a spell as long as its horns are intact. So you need to use Barret probably to get at those horns. Yeah, that hurt. Oh wait, first of all, what I really need to do- Also, not everybody's doing that. Uh, what I really need is to cast haste on literally- Oh everyone. yeah. Yep. Anyways, uh, cast haste. The other thing is, um, but yeah, Alfin in the first one, his, his thing was like, I'm a small town doctor with a, you know, a bit of a lip on me, but then he winds up like, he goes after some people and he kind of goes crazy. Um, so that was really surprising that he, uh, um, but you were getting a bunch of immune text there. What was going on there? I don't know. I can't hurt his fucking horns, apparently. So you can't use... So maybe you can't hurt the horns while they're glowing? So you have to hurt his body. Oh, first. shit! Fuck! But you can't cast spells on him, which you just did. Yeah, maybe, I, maybe I can't. I thought maybe I had to hit this, the horns specifically with yeah, them. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, boy! Maybe I have to cripple his legs first. Or something. We're counting on you. Okay, anyways, yeah. Pot carry probably gonna be a badass. And then. Is that it? Did I miss one? I did. I'm skipping by. Warrior, dancer, merchant, scholar, thief, hunter, apothecary. One of these in my video that I'm going by real fast is apparently less than five seconds of skipping over it. Um. Dancer, Agnia. Once again, by the way, the names do spell Octopath again. Oh, they have a cleric! The cleric, Temenos. Yeah, he's the one I'm super interested in. Because I cannot tell if he's like a bad guy cleric. Also, male cleric, you just don't always see that. So it's, nice. it's true, you usually don't, actually. Uh, Ophelia was a very easy, like, she's very much the cleric's cleric. Like, you know exactly what she's gonna be. But his one line is, doubt is what I do. Which, upon further reflection, I thought initially, I was like, oh, is this gonna be like a, like, a, like we're gonna get to play as the evil church guy? But I realized- <laughs> Usually it's the bad guy. I realized in retrospect what it probably is, because his journey is also a journey for truth. It's probably that when he says, doubt is what I do, it's about the fact that as a member of the church, helping people overcome their uh, crisis of faith is probably one of the things that he does best. And so that's actually probably what the vibe is. It's probably not that he's actually like a bad cleric, but either way, it's very interesting. And I am very tempted to make him my first character. Um, which is very cool. Um, but yeah, anyways, the other, the other interesting things are we learned from the press release that, uh, they are adding side stories, which involve multiple characters. So in the original game, you had eight separate storylines, which at the end, you find out that there are connections, which were like hinted at before, but there's like a little extra side quest at the very end, which, which cl clarifies the things. But this time around, but otherwise the characters barely interact. Uh, oh, now you bring the ones. I see. Um, Watch you need to go. Watch you need to get it. Get it! Get dicked on, boy. Nice! Um, I was uh, gonna poison the shit out of you. In in the original, in the original, yeah, tackling his own doubts actually also seems like an interesting storyline. Which, to be clear, this is a world where the gods exist and speak to people on occasion. So like, you know, that's one of those fantasy worlds. 
Um, <laughs> but no, they in the original game, the only interaction was every now and then, at specific story points, you would occasionally get a couple extra lines of dialogue if you had a specific character in the party. Basically, it's like, during this specific event, if, you know, obviously this is the dancer's story, for example, it'll be like, during this exact moment, if you happen to have the warrior with you, then the warrior will make a comment or whatever. But, like, that was really all the interaction we got. And so this one, the idea that they have extra storylines um, that are dedicated to being uh, multiple characters at once is a really nice change. They also stated they are going to break the format up a little bit, too. Original game, you have eight characters, four chapters in each of their stories. And in this one... Don't meteor. Don't meteor. Don't meteor, you piece of shit. He's almost dead. Uh-huh. Anyways, in this one, they specifically said they're not going to restrict themselves to everyone's story having the same format. I like this. This is definitely a very meteor-like move with the shit falling down because of it looked his like roar. It, was, it looked like it was damaging him. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it was but like a, yeah, an sorry. old school thing of of behemoths um, is their big move is meteor. Right. And in Final Fantasy X, uh, you only fight behemoths inside of Sin, spoilers, inside of Sin, and when you kill them, they will do meteor. And if your party is not prepared, it will kill you. Yeah. Oh, do you uh, do you see all the scratch marks on the wall? Like it was trying to get out of that room. There are a bunch of claw marks and stuff all over the wall. Which is really <laughs> no, cool. I can't play ten ruins. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Anyways, I I won't keep gushing on forever about. Uh, oh yeah, that's fine. We can, we don't have to talk about farming sims, but we can talk about Octopath too. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, duh, bitch. Um, <laughs> anyways, like I said, I'm gonna. Uh, oh wait, I don't have to walk through back here. I can just hold nope. out one to leave. Hold, nope. They did uh, say. Oh wait, is there? Was there something you were supposed to be getting here? I already left. No, completing this one I think gives you. Yeah, completing this gives you a weapon. Um, but you didn't have to. You already found everything you, you needed to down there, so it was not relevant. Oh, thank um, you. But yes, you will get That's a new one weapon. One less for big problem quest. to worry about. We owe you. I know um, it's tough right now, but stay strong, you hear? You too, buddy. But they talk about how there's hey, now going to be character-specific skills, we don't break easy. Um, which is going to be neat. Not much, but take the idea that, like, thanks. signature abilities for the individual character that gives them all their unique identity. And also, that's February, which is really cool. I'm telling you, dude, everything is in fucking February. Yeah. Everything. Um, it's crazy. Okay, next farming sim. The Wrecking Ball. Yeah, it's another melee. <laughs> <laughs> it's very stupid. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's I very mean, dumb. It looks fun. I mean, yeah, use it, but also, like, don't use it forever. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, what's next? Fay Farm, the next farming sim. Oh, what the fuck was this one? This one was like the fairy tale world farming sim. This oh. one was probably the least interesting one we saw. All right, let me look it up real quick. Uh, F-A-E, Fay Farm. Fay Farm. It looks fine. It just was the one that I think made the least impact of any of the farming sims we saw. Oh, yeah, this one's this one's very cartoonish, very just... Light. Admittedly, it probably had the best graphics of. No, no, Harvestella would have had the best graphics. Mm, we'll talk about it. But I just mean like. The Rune this is more. Stuff. This is more stylized. The Rune Factory and the. And, and the, also the thing about this one is is that it's up to one to four players co-op, so you could do it that. Uh, it's a co-op farming, not only farming sim, but but a lot of other things. Like there's a building of the stuff and the smelting and the cutting the wood and making the house. It's basically a more in-depth online fucking Animal Crossing. Yeah, my my only point was with a dungeon the crawler ones, too. Or multiple of the other ones we saw were ports. And so while they looked okay, they definitely showed their age, whereas this one is original. Oh yeah, this is like a dungeon crawler as well. Fay Farm actually doesn't seem so bad. It definitely seems like it will get a good niche with like oh probably middle schoolers or so that are 
that have gotten into Stardew Valley because of their parents. So whatever. So I think it'll, it'll it'll probably do decently. It does look cute. Um, not for me. Yeah. Uh, personally, but that and that's okay. Let's see. Next up is Theater Rhythm. I'm so fucking excited about Theater Rhythm. Oh my god. Sorry. I. Mm, it, it seems <clears throat> cool. I don't care, but it I seems cool. Love rhythm games. I'm a very big fan of rhythm games. I own Theater Rhythm One and Two on the DS. They are very fun rhythm games. They're super, just super fun. They mix in the, the, the JRPG element with being able to do damage. If you miss too many, then you are then you die versus the monster that you're fighting. And like, and you don't get it, like a good hit, you get a critical hit. It the, the overall. super gamifies the rhythm aspect of it. And it's just, it's very fun. Plus it's Final Fantasy music, which is fucking awesome. But and wait, there's more... It's not just Final Fantasy music anymore. It's got Saga, Nier, Octopath, Live Alive, and possibly more. Possibly more. And more, I think. It's okay, happen. Corbin. You don't have to do rhythm games. Titus is here for you. Next, probably the most relevant one we're going to talk about. Play theater rhythm. It keeps so good. Uh, Mario Rabbids Sparks of Hope because... Oh, it looks good! Because we're probably going to be playing Mario Rabbids <laughs> 1 after this game comes out, but like still, <laughs> uh, maybe in a few months we'll play Mario Rabbids 1. I think it's, um, like, I think it's a really solid candidate. It, it is, cause so like, to peel back the curtain for everybody else who watches this, I was like, I want to play Final Fantasy Tactics because that game's awesome and Joe's never seen it before. But what's a good compromise to that? Oh, well, let's just play Mario plus Rabbids. It's XCOM, so it's kind of tactics based in a sense. And then it's goofy Mario Rabbids. We don't have to really pay attention to the fucking story no. at all. So let's just play that. And it sounds like a good thing to play. So I was really surprised that. that they didn't talk about the they announced that there was going to be a DLC that stars Rayman. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they didn't mention it in the direct at all, which I just thought very strange. A little weird. I agree. But it's fine. But yeah. Um, what do I want to do? I want to um, quit. Steal? Mm. Or enemy skill? Mm. Uh... As long as you're doing all the greens, I don't really care. Yep, greens. This is now. This is like an extra. Um, Arguably, for Barrett, he needs MP. This is uh, definitely not Barrett. This is. Oh, this is Tifa. There Tifa. It's definitely Tifa. We'll do um, luck up. We'll just we'll just put our luck up. Um. Oh God. I have the goddamn. Wrecking ball that we have to do. Yep. Just figure oh, out what the skill is. <laughs> it has a lot of materia slots. Yeah, it does. It has six. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a lot. Um. Oh, anyways, Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope looks great. Very cool. Yeah, I, they they really did just kind of glaze over that Rayman is like. Oh, by the way, Rayman, it's like that was it wasn't even what? it. It was what? Like a tweet. Like, it was before. I know. What the fuck? Um, okay, then we got Rune Factory 3 port, which again... Very cool! Uh, Farming Simulator number 3 now. This is the one, <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. Is. This is the one where they added... Oh, it they was, added it was, it was Rune Factory 3. Because Rune Factory 4 also does not have any kind of, um... But, same sex. Yeah, homosexual marriage type of things. And so this is the first one as a port of an old one, or as a remake of an old one, which... Rune Factory, so Rune Factory 5 didn't perform super well on terms of the Switch because it just, it had some frame issues and just some like overall performance issues that kind of took away from it a bit more than people wanted. And so people are either waiting for the Steam release, which will eventually happen, or we just play Rune Factory 3 because it's not as like visually appealing and i went to the wrong spot the only thing i found interesting about it was well sorry i guess this is about the fact they said they're like new series in development 
That's all three missing they didn't say that they're making a new game. Yeah, it's a new series. Which, that to me is is curious. That to me is curious. I like it. I think it's a great idea, to be honest. Is Rune Factory 5 already out on Steam? Well, shit. Five or, th well, th or three. It, four is. I don't know if five is. Oh, oh it is? Five All right, well, I, I just need to play it there then. Um, well, not that Square is exactly known for their PC ports always being good. Some of them are. I'm pretty sure Octopath's PC port is fine. Mm -hmm. But um, Rune Factory is not Square. Oh, no, it's not. I completely forgot. It's Ideal sorry. Factory. Okay, next up, uh, N64 games for NSO. Cool. Yeah. Pokemon Stadium. Hey there, man. You into but music? But rentals only. I saw a quarter of discs sitting on a mountain of them now. Uh oh. Excuse me. Mind taking at least one off my um, hands? Okay, yeah, the, the fact that Pokemon Stadium is rentals only is funny. Yeah, because people. You, they, they're like, you can't put po your own Pokemon <laughs> in the game. Which, like, of course not, guys. Yeah. Of what? How not. fucking would you? People are mad. Which I understand why. I understand why people might have wanted that, but but like, how do you do it? There's no way, guys. There's just no way. It's, it's so, never okay. gonna work. <laughs> so apparently, apparent. So uh, from what I understand is, if you beat the Elite Four, no, their Nintendo Switch Online. Um, is getting new N64 games and Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 within the within the Nintendo Switch Online Virtual Console for Switch. Hmm. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 are getting ported. Yeah. Or included. So, from what I understand, and I, I, I don't know if this is true or not, because I never did this when I was um, a kid, is if you beat the Elite Four hmm. and... So. um. Stadium, you get to play red inside of Pokemon Stadium. Is that true? No. What happens when you beat the Elite Four? I don't. In the game? In Stadium. I did. Are the Elite Four in Stadium? Is it just Giovanni? I didn't think. I couldn't. I don't remember what the story was. You just go through all the. You go through all the. The gym badges. And I think you beat the Elite Four. Gyms were in there? Yeah, dude. Did you not play no. there? Pokemon Stadium does not have a storyline. What do you mean? That's what Wikipedia says. It's not necessarily a storyline, it's just a battle. It's just this it's just a little thing where you just go through all the battles. You go oh, through all the gym, gym leaders. Gym leader castle. Yeah. Hey, those did you not do this as a child? Oh no, I did. It's been a minute. In, or, in this mode, the goal is to climb the, ca the castle's top by facing, in order, all eight gym leaders from Kanto, followed by the Elite Four, and finally, the player's rival. Right. So what happens when you do that? Each player has three. Each gym leader has three apprentices that you beat first. When the rival is finally defeated, the player will be rewarded one of the following eight Pokemon at random, each of them uncommon in Generation 1, and usually only, avail only available once in a particular Game Boy game without trading. The starters are level five, fossil and dojo Pokemon are level twenty. When you beat the story mode, the game oh, gives you it, one of you receive Bulbasaur, one of the harder Pokemons. Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, <laughs> Eevee, Ammonite, Kabuto. You could pick one. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that as a kid. I never beat them. They were hard. Um. Once you defeat Stadium Mode and Gym Leader Castle, you can beat. You can do a one battle against Mewtwo? He's like a super Mewtwo. Yeah. It has full PP ups on all of its moves, and it's a two-round fight. And it unlaunches the credits, changes the title screen. You can challenge Mewtwo again. Beating Mewtwo a second time <laughs> gives you extra stickers. Damn. Alright, never mind. Ignore me. Uh, you can. There is like a Hall of Fame kind of situation. Um, Giovanni go... is in the game. Yeah, I know that. Uh, I need to. Go, where do but I need it. to go? Oh, sorry. Let me look. So, what, what discs do you need? Are you still looking for discs? Well, right now, I need to go to the. Because I have the list of them. Hold on. And which songs you play. 
so you can see if you have them. I, I, I'm 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 having like a huge brain fart. Well, right you're now. you're almost done because for yeah, I gotta go turn in secret medicine. But what the get, you, fuck you is that? You finish secret medicine. Secret medicine, I think you finish in the sewers. Do I? After we're in chapter eight. <clears throat> what are you, what are the side quests you have left? I've I've I have collected all three components on the list. Now I deliver them for secret medicine. I am oh, done with secret done medicine. All. I just gotta fucking remember where the fuck to go. You, do you not go to? Well, let me just look up secret medicine. It's secret. It's sector five slums area. Yeah, it's sector five. Oh, we're are we in chapter eight or nine? I don't. <laughs> no. All I know is, is I gotta go. We're in chapter fourteen. All I gotta go is sector five. Secret medicine. But yeah, people were mad that it wouldn't work oh, with the home behemoth, and all the behemoth that. Behemoth so. was part of secret medicine. Yep. You actually had to fight Behemoth for it, um, even though that was technically part of. You just go talk to the doctor, who is in who's in uh, yeah, by Aerith's house. You just go talk to that doctor and you're done. Yep, I just had to fucking remember where to go. I was I was having yeah. like the biggest of brain farts. No, I understand. Um. Yeah, so, uh, Rune Factory, play it. Yeah, well, in Pokemon Stadium, and then... Pokemon Stadium, play it, but don't get 10, mad. 1080 snowboard, snowboarding, which I actually remember, like, yeah. kind of wanting. Dude, Excite Bike, let's go! And Excite Bike. And then... Oh, did you manage to uh, get Golden Eye, which I is needed? the big one. Yeah, GoldenEye's neat, but if you, if you haven't played GoldenEye in a while, uh, one analog stick... Uh, shooting is already. hard as hell. Take this. Oh, I remember being him. very bad at Goldeneye. My oh, friend, yeah. My friend Sammy was the one who had who had Goldeneye, uh, and I was very bad at it. Okay. Um. <sighs> next was this random RPG that was released day of various day life, a square uh, RPG. So what is up here, with here's the thing. Okay. Uh, we did some research on this. It is made by the Bravely team. And it looks like it. It released. It is not being received you well. What happened over it, it, it didn't seven. look good. Like, why is this? What it is going on here? Is not good. I can see the inspiration of Bravely. There's like these the 2D town maps. But yeah, so the environments here's look the, bad. I thought the, it was a port. It a looks game. terrible. Yeah. And the gameplay loop is exactly the same. Everything you do is exactly the same. And you're just doing boring, tedious ass time. So it's not charming like Harvest uh Harvest Moon. No, not Harvest Moon. Animal Crossing. See anything you like? It's not it doesn't have that charm to it. No, it's just shit. <laughs> yeah, I weird. Alright. I had um, 19 Moogle medals. I was gonna say, but you were like I spent them all. You did not. <laughs> oh, we've gotten a couple more. Well, yeah. Just buy whatever you want. At this point, you bought all the important stuff, so buy all the one-offs. Because you may as well. Even you know, What else are you going to do? Just buy a bunch of ethers? <laughs> Please. Um, oh yeah, buy each of the one-off things, and then I guess buy, like, elixirs. Uh, I guess elixirs are it. probably the best thing to do. Or turbo ethers, which admittedly you also don't have very many of. Day. Have a merry Moogle day. Well, thanks. Can I do this again? Can do it. Come on. Dude, oh, the, the box hey, game? Yeah. I think so. I don't know if there's Guess any new what? rewards, but I think we you can. They made whack a box way uh, harder. Just a little kids game anymore. Oh, did you not? Does it say you have new prizes? I don't know. We're going to find out. Well, you know? Boxes I should tell you. Us for well, she's still talking. So we decided yeah, to whack no, monsters I know. I'm just, uh, instead. Table, wow. That's all. That sounds like a terrible idea. Shit. Oh, they're saying We've it's not whack box anymore. It's just they go kill monsters. So why don't you try Her face is weird. I don't know why it's odd. She does not look like a child. She no, I like her. her the mouth is is odd. Oh yeah, no, you're right. You're hard mode. Right. Oh god. An elixir, a crescent moon, a trans, a transference module, and a Moogle medal for participation. Oh, prize. so you don't have any of those. All right, here we go. Okay, we'll go. 
30,000 points is what you're looking for. Fuck. It is still Wacker Punch. Okay, it's just the same game. You have a much better weapon. Than this, so hopefully that goes better. Oh yeah, we were using the um, Infinity's Edge or whatever. No, we were using the baseball bat. Oh yeah, the baseball bat sucks. Oh, I missed. Fuck. Oh yeah, Punisher mode is actually probably uh, probably the best thing for you to do when you're just standing in the middle of a bunch of boxes. Yeah. Because it just deletes them. Yeah. Um, so while you're doing that, uh, Factorio, cool, uh, I don't here. know I how the Switch is gonna run that game. I see a lot of people being like, I don't know how this game, like, this game works weird, but it does not seem like it should be able to, to work on a Switch. I don't know enough about it. I don't know how it's gonna work on a console just in general. It's very much about, like, placing customization stuff and doing all that, and it's like, how the f fuck is that gonna work on a Switch? Very strange, in my opinion. I don't really know how they expect that to be a thing. By the way, you need to go for time more than points right now. I know. You're getting, you're getting some, but yeah, you need to. Thirty thousand is what I mean. Yeah. Infinity's end. Here we go. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's really good, but it takes a lot of time. It does. Um, but because it like hits things behind it, not as yeah. bad. Oh, that time box didn't get hit. We're doing fine. You'll get there. Yeah, you get, you'll get there. Yeah. I think we're fine. We're fine. It's over. This um, takes, like, three right. seconds to activate something. So we've got Ib, the weird... The weird little, like... Oh. Looks like MS Paint or whatever. I don't know, it just looks weird. And I'm not one to judge, but I'm just, like, not really sure what that Brace game's yourself. about. Oh no! Oh no! I missed it, so I might miss it! Oh, oh, oh that's bullshit. I missed it with my braver. Oh, I got it anyway! Thank god. Barely, barely, barely. Woo. But yeah, anyways, that Whoa. game, Strikers, There's new no characters, cool. Like that. Yeah, that's very cool! Uh, Atelier Rise of 3, that's a port, right? No, it's a new one. That's a new one? There's only been two? No. <laughs> um. This is the main storyline. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Okay, sure. Okay. I'm You've lost me. Um, Maybe so, uh, nice from what I understand about Atelier Ryza, there's see, kid. a main story, and then I think there's this other thing as well. There's, like, another side story of Atelier Ryza games. So because games. there's, like, six of them you can buy on the damn PlayStation. By the way, the transference module... There's a thing in my brain saying that that's really good. What is Come it? Back soon. I don't know. Is it a is it a thing? Let's look. I think it's uh, got a really good effect. Let's um salvation whirlwind. Blah, 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 blah. Star pendant protective boots transference module. Consuming ATB fills the limit gauge. That is yeah yeah you can just limit break. Damn good. That'd be really good on whoever has refocus. Uh, that way you can pop refocus really, really early, and then also still have time to like do all your other stuff. It's like really good. Also, is good for Aerith because she wants to heal. So having just ha being able to do your limit break heal more is good. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, dog. Okay. I will say before the end. Really, of the game, is there not any more artil artillery games? Because there's a bunch of like. I thought there was. I don't know. By the way, I'm going to step away for just a moment to grab another drink. Um, you need to go finish the music. The three songs are Good Night Until Tomorrow, Fight On, and Stand Up. All right, look. There are like fucking 12 different games here. 
Oh, Ryza is a character. Yeah, yeah, she's Thick Girl. People really like her. Yeah, there's a bunch of these games. And she gets her third game now. Which apparently she's a big fan favorite. And, you know, come on. It's pretty easy to see why. So. I need to still play them. I call myself a JRPG fan and I haven't played a single one of them. Cause I'm lame. Really far. Right, I agree. They're like JRPG light. I mean, but that's fine. You know, JRPG light is fine. Do they require 60 plus hours of gameplay? Because if they don't, that'd be nice. Nah, you need ditch Pokemon. Pokemon's meh. I don't know where to find these, um... Whatever they're called. How dare... Motherfucker, my brother in Christ. You were just talking about when we t when we talked about Scarlet and Scarlet and Violet about how they haven't inno innovated and they're just the same thing and they're boring and now that you've finally played a modern one you're like, "How dare you, sir?" Shut up. Welcome to Sam's delivery service. Uh <sighs> That's funny. <laughs> it's very funny. Okie doke. So, songs. Yeah, you look up where they go. I gotta pee. I already got them. I already looked them up. I gotta what pee. What am I gonna do in the meantime? Vamp, dummy! Oh my gosh. What if instead of vamping, this is an <laughs> ASMR scene? And I just eat crunchy food instead. Just. Be the better option at this rate they'll probably use the trains the pokemon's so much fun though corbin and my friends have insisted to me that pokemon is a jrpg they insist Are all these pokemon is a jrpg i think pokemon is pokemon in my opinion right how far are you at in the story not that the story is like the most important thing but or yeah well keep waiting or well. go home Home might be the best. <sighs> they'll probably use the trains as shelters. Okay, okay, okay. Where are we going? Um. Uh, okay, so go to the jukebox and we'll see which songs you still have and which ones you need to get. Because so I just don't, I don't want to waste your time going to each of the locations first. So, Wall Market. Um, somewhere in the Walmart market. Entrance. Yeah, it's, it's it is actually in Walmart. Mm -hmm. Love it. God, I love the fucking. I just love it. So Gucci. <sighs> So, you should do... Oh, it's already playing Good Night Until Tomorrow, so you've done the first one. Yeah. Or, well, no. So, play Good Night Until Tomorrow just to be sure. I think you already did it. Mm -hmm. well, let's just double check. I've done two. So, Good Night Until Tomorrow. And Tango of Tears. Fight On. Tango of Tears is not one of them. Whatever it is. Fight On? I've done Fight On. You've played it for sure? Yeah. Okay, and the last one is Stand Up. I don't have that one. That is by the Honey Bee Inn, so it's not far. In the um, in the city map, in the little section of the game that's all the intercrossing alleys and stuff, it's uh, top left, northwest. Um, and it's in an alley by 
the honeybee in. Whoops. I went upstairs. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to go upstairs. Hey, those officers. Mm -mm. Um, honeybee actually is it's down, I think. Yeah, it is. Where'd they go? So but yeah, you need to um do that. Not a noise up at the dawn place earlier. What was that about? There's a song. And then that's over here. probably the one you need. I hear it. Where the frick is it? Uh, I think it might be up on a balcony. This one might actually be up on a balcony or something. I don't know. Oh no, that's Farm Boy. This is this lady. You love the artist. You don't mm. need more well, than you already have Farm Boy. Okay, well then that's not relevant. Hmm. Then I don't... Then I'm stupid. And then I gotta go to the Honey Bee Inn, which is not the way I thought that was. Do you see the big, on your map, there's like a circular yeah, thing? it's with... up here. I just, oh, I just took a wrong turn. I yeah. just gotta go down this way. It's the alley below the little yeah, 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 yeah. circle. I was, the... I went, I had to go right instead of left. Hmm. Um, and then there's this... Oh, oh, oh. I hear the yeah. song. Sure we get any I have to go through this way. There's a, there's a. Yeah, it's this way. Okay, okay, okay. It's right here. Hey, what's up, man? You vibing with this? And then back too? to Betty and then play with Betty. If you want. Okay. Next up, Mario Kart 8 Booster Deluxe wow. Pass courses. Sure. Oh yeah, dude. More courses I mean, for Mario Kart. Eight year old game. I do really like Peach Gardens, though. That's a really solid pick. Peach Gardens is great. I mean, look, I'm just happy for Nintendo for instead of making another game, they found a way to keep milking this one. And why did I mean, why do they need? Yeah. Why do they why? need to make another it's game? Still, it's, it's still the number one selling game. Still printing fucking money. So why yeah. invest the time and all the let shit? Your people, let your people go ham on designing the new one <laughs> while they continue to milk this one. And the next one will be even better. Phrasing, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> go ham milking this game. Well, more of the let my people go thing, but that's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mario or, or Nintendo Switch Sports Golf got Yay! Delayed. I'm super excited about this! I know, but it got delayed. I know, I but I'm still... Nintendo Switch Sports. I'm super excited about the golf. I think it'll be really fun. The game's... Is Switch Sports? Super fun. Oh! I know. Super fun. Alright, what else? Oh, Pikmin Bloom. You want to know about Pikmin Bloom? I don't give a fuck about Pikmin, number one, but I... Uh, sure. You, you would probably like Pikmin. I've heard that, but I don't know. Pikmin's really good. It's a really fun management game, because it's I more involved. Marlene and, I did um, it before. and Pikmin I 1 saw. is actually meant to be replayed and getting a better score this each time because the whole thing is you have x amount of days before you before you die of hunger or something like that um wow. and so it's all about doing it as fast as you can <laughs> Come on, little lady. also this old man gets it so <laughs> i would adore the first i've heard i'd like it but you, it really would, and it's also not Thanks a long so game. Pikmin 1, Our pleasure. Like maybe 10 hours, 12. Thank you. And then, and then he announces Pikmin 4. And that's, that's all we got. It is happening. Yeah. That's it. 2023, One, but no the gameplay. Only, the only interesting thing is that the screenshot looks nice, and it seems to feature Brittany, which... Is the is one of the characters from three, so like, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, also, Barrett got SP from that. By the way, yeah, so I know. We're waiting I got a fucking. I gotta go down this. I have to go down the sewer now. Now it is time to go down and do the Corneo's cat uh, or to well, go need, talk to Leslie. I need the cash. I gotta do the cash first before you I. Key, you get the key during this quest. What? what? Yeah, I've already, I already, I've already done the other two caches. I just need to do the one in the sewers. No, you, have, you haven't done any of the caches. You don't you're have the key yet. Fucking wrong. Oh wait, wait. No, you're right. You're right. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but yes, one of them is in the sewers, and you have to do it during the quest. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going because I'm too busy yelling at you. I'm sorry. We're going this have way. You, by the way, have you done battle intel number 18? I have all of them, but one to go. I know, but is it just... So you've done 18. It's the, it's the... So you don't have the Bahamut one yet. You don't actually have it yet. I no, I don't have... I don't. I have to master all the magics. Oh, that is... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that is the one that we'll... I gotta master all the magics. And okay. we said it's probably gonna have to wait till after the game. Just We're because... gonna try, but... I don't know. Yeah. Don't tell we'll you. see. I heard Dunquin. <laughs> ah, delicious. Okay, um... so... Go talk to Leslie, but do not go into the sewers yet. Why? Because there is a there is something in this building you need to get, but you have to talk to Leslie first. Uh, we've talked to him once already. Right? You need to go into Corneo's office. Uh -oh. Specifically. My battery is low. It'll probably last the rest of the stream, and then I'll put it on charger. No one's home. Into his office. Mm-hmm. Which is fucking weird, all right. It's upstairs. Okay. Is it this one? Open sesame. Nope, this is where they got ready. I'm eating sesame sticks. Is it this one? I actually don't remember which one it is. Um, this doesn't look like an office per se. No, no, no this here. is the escape room. Well, I mean, it's not his office; it's his bedroom. Why do I need? Why do I need to go to his Betty by room? Well, I wrote office. I think I saw office, but yeah, whatever. Here's his no, Betty it's, room. it's office with bedroom in the back. Is it? Mm -hmm. He interviews you in a room with a desk, not a room with a bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Long time no see. What brings you back here? Who would win? A gun or a sword? Well... We need to find a way to get topside as quickly as possible. And we figured Corneo ought to know one. Is that so? In that case, I can help. You serious? Then tell us! Follow me. Let's just hear him out. <clears throat> so, what's the deal with the hole? Unfinished it's business. The sewer. If you three give me a hand with it, I'll give you what you need to get topside. You want us to go back into the sewers with you? What's down there? Corneo's hidey hole. That's where I'm headed. So put the slide. You're not gonna try to screw us over, are you? If that's what you think, walk away. I'll find somebody else to work with. And you'll have to find another way to get topside. <sighs> All right. We're in. Say what? He betrays us. He dies. Fine by me. Jesus. He means it. I'll tell you more after we've climbed down. When you're good to go, let me know. Alright. Um, so do not climb down. <laughs> we're gonna go behind us, I guess, right? There's, a, there's a hallway in this room. Go back here. Ah, so this is the office that we need. What's in here? Oh, it's the other room. Okay. But there's an there's a. Where the fuck is this? 
I don't know. Yeah, no, you're going. You, you're, that was correct. Oh, I, it's in the hallway of the office. Okay, 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 okay. Going down. Who the fuck is down here? What happened to you, dumb shit? Did the girls fuck you up? Huh? Help somebody! No, I'm not helping you. You're gonna fucking die there. Do I have to buy a weapon? No. No, you have to free him. <laughs> Man, he's such a piece of shit. Oh. Tifa, kick him in the balls first, please. Huh? You mother. Uh, I mean, hey there. Uh, would you mind helping me out? No. I'm kind of in a bind. I do not want to help you. Like, at all. Thanks, you guys. Man, these jerks from Shinra showed up out of nowhere. Accused me of leaking information and called me useless. And well, the rest is history. <laughs> Well, anyway, thanks for helping me out. Peace out! And he just leaves. But he left behind something golden! Oh, another chakra material? Who gives a shit? We have like a billion of those. Legit have like three of those. Yeah, but it's on the list. I mean, I guess that's true. It do be on the list. Okay, so now you follow Leslie. By the way, you're not locked in. It's just that <sighs> it's best to just do this all in this order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understandable. Understandable. Da -na -na -ba -na -da -na. I don't know. Anyway, what game's next? I will... Well, the one other thing I'll say is the last, um, uh, at the end of this quest with the, with the sewers, they will put you right in front of your point of no return to end the chapter, which you need to not do because you, you, get, ready? you will have to finish this and then you'll need to go turn in a quest. Okay. Which is annoying. Follow me. But it's, so they're going to put me in the place of no return? They're gonna put you like right there. It's a trap for the dawn's enemies. Ready to go, what? and then you need to go real fast, turn in another quest, and then come back. Well, until that's recently, all. That is. But you will get all the way through the sewers first. Okay, next game. Uh, Pikmin Four looks cool. Uh, Just Dance. Which appears to be getting a battle pass of some kind. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking know. Are they making it free oh, to play? Did you know there's a just pass on 3DS? Right. As long as you hold up yours. What? Or a just dance on 3DS? Really? I trust you yes. I don't like you. Oh. So if you so much as props to them for at least one of the dance numbers I'll having somebody in a wheelchair dancing. That's cool. That's cool, I guess. You. I mean. Some are a lot Need accessibility feature think. for people who it, want to play the game with their family but own. can't stand up. You, you can say put player hand, two in a seated position or whatever. Right. That's true. That is pretty. That'd be, that'd be good for Let's grandma too. With. Grandma can't do it, but you know she can do this kind of stuff. Whatever. She so I gotta turn. Fun. I gotta turn around, huh? And go the fucking. No. What? You need to do. You need to go through the sewers. Oh, I have to go through the sewers. You will, you will come upon uh, one of the secret stashes is down here. Yeah, the last secret stash is down here. That's the important thing. There are also a few materia. Um, for the trunk line. Namely, there is the a poison materia. Also, you do not do you this in the original away. game. You do not go through this twice. <laughs> yeah. Once you go through the sewers once. Bleh, and done. this is actually a side quest, but it is mandatory. Or actually, no, yeah, no. This is technically not the side quest. This is required. But the stash is down here. Yeah, the stash is definitely down here. But yeah, there is a bio materia. It says southwest corner of Aqueduct 1. Aqueduct? 
aqueduct. There's a goddamn aqueduct, quack quack. However, it'll be worth it. A bio one? Does it? Well, not the bio. Doing all the side quests gives you an extra elemental materia. Then you become nice. Which is really, which is really, really nice. Because you can put one on Barret and then one on Cloud. Give Cloud <laughs> an edge on um, <laughs> certain things. So, all right, next game. Um, Arvistella, farming sim number four. Mm. Which you have onions on, so I'll just let you ramble for a while. We do this fast. Uh, yeah, Harvestella. The advertisements are better than the game. Because the advertisements make that game look fucking incredible. And, uh. It needs some work. I will say, looking at the screenshot of the farming, the farming doesn't look notable. I mean, the farming is just basic farming sim. Yeah. It, I, and I, I talked about, so I did a whole stream on this uh, on a, yesterday. yesterday about the game. Um, we played the demo on stream and we talked about it. Worked up a good sweat. Um, so I'll just kind of go point by point. The music is really good. Uh, I mean, the game opens up and it's, you know, Harvestella and it's very Final Fantasy Bravely Default-like. You immediately get that th that that theme just kind of like punched into your head like, yeah, this is made by Square Enix. Here we go. Um, and you start playing the game in this. So the demo is the first two chapters or 15 day in, in, in time. So you like, you get a story and the story is, is this season in between the seasons called the quietus. Um, if you're out during the quietus, you could potentially die. We don't know why, but something like kills people. Well, you're out, you see this projection or whatever, and you pass out and then they find you and now you're an amnesiac. Uh, that's a rune factory um, trope is every single main character of um, Rune Factory, Rune Factory yeah. gets amnesia and so like it's just at this point it's just they have leaned into it and so they already know I guess but now this game is like hey hey we can do that too look at us and I'm like all right that's yeah that's 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 fine yeah sure neat um, so you start the game, and they have you pick a man or a woman. Good job. You're very ambiguous. Or non-binary. Or non-binary. It, it does say non-binary. Uh, you're very ambiguous, actually. Uh, if you pick if you pick a dude, you look like you kind of look like a chick. It's kind of weird. You pick male, female, non-binary, and then you pick a character model, but your choices are actually the same no matter which no matter which gender you stated you chose. Correct. It still, it still gives you all the same character model options. There we go. I, it's effectively I just a question to ask you what the pronouns are. They just, I think, possibly smartly avoided the question what are your pronouns because that's... Yeah, um, which is fine because then you get to pick a character model, you get to pick the hair color, that stuff. You pick a voice, there's two options, male voice or female voice. That's it. That's all your options. So... And at that point, I'm like, okay, well, there's two options, so this game must be voice acted, and they're only doing those two options. Because they're only doing a male voice actor voice and a female voice actor voice. No. Admittedly, admittedly, I will... What? I was just going to say, there is admittedly not such a thing as a non-binary voice. There's... It's hard to do to say you can, that you because... You can have masculine voices, and you can have feminine voices. Yes. So, but, voice one is a masculine voice, voice two is a f uh, feminine voice. Those are your options. Yes. And so that immediately... But the, and there's a lot of voices that you could argue are ambiguous. Yes. I wouldn't say that there are non-binary voices, i just say they're ambiguous. Yeah, the Grouchy Goblin, uh, the little gremlins, you guys don't have a place here. Sorry. Um, it's just not your game. Um, and so, that is what fucking gun did i have big bertha i think big bertha is the best one yeah 
That's what you should use for the rest of the game. <laughs> just use Big Bertha. It's the best gun. Um, you lose materia slots, at least for now. But it, it, it didn't matter. I was putting nothing on him besides yep. random stuff. Um, you have a lot of SP on him, too. Damn. Yeah, because we got that little SP book. But that's only 10. So you also leveled up a couple times, apparently. I think I see a materia slot or two as well. Yeah, there's two. Oh, well, one's just a connection. Yeah. But then one's additional. No, they're both just connections. Nope. One's connection, one's additional. Oh, it didn't matter what order you did. Okay, they yes. both said connection. Yes, does not matter what order you do. But so, still, good. Five is Weird is reason. Um, um, by the way, Composer of Harvestella also has done a couple Tales games, some God Eater stuff, some Tekken stuff. The, the, oh, God, the music's good. The music's really good. So yeah, yeah you load into the game, Amnesia, and then you find... Um, this like thing, this meteor hits the ground, you go inside of it, you find this person who everyone else is like, oh my god, why? Why would you be nice to this person? We don't like these guys. And they don't give you a fucking reason why. They're just like, it's an omen. We don't like these. You, you take it back. It turns out to be a chick in an armor. And the whole story is there's a time rift that happens. This chick is from the future and she got yanked into the timeline and she is talking about this thing called the Red Queen, which is this big thing that you see, this big Lysias Final Fantasy 13 thing you see in the background. And that's like the story that they give you. Um, it's intriguing. It's an intriguing story because every time something happened, I'm kind of like, okay, where are we going with this? What's happening? Why does the quarter stuff, why is it going to kill us? Why are these people here saying... Oh, you don't know about this or this. So there's like there's this odd aura of people not telling you something, um, which is fine. It's just uh, like it, it has a very much a JRPG start. Sure. Uh, all, pre all premise to no context. It's all the first three hours is just world building. It's fine. It went by fast. I didn't mind it a bunch. It can get a little tedious, but it, the demo carries over, so hey, you finish it now, and then you don't have to worry about it later. But you first get control of your character, and you're in an open world, grass, trees. I mean, it looks like a PS3 game, which for the Switch, that's not that bad, to be honest. Um... But you you notice this weird blur around your character, and it I doesn't can see that. I can see that in the screenshot. It doesn't go away, <laughs> and it's not always there. Here, the huh. crazy the crazy thing is, it's not always there. When you go inside buildings, it goes away. So it's something with how they're trying to do lighting, or it, or something along those lines. Yeah, and so like the visual fidelity of the game. Not really the best, but then again, if you look at like Rune Factory 5, Rune Factory 5 is just stylized. It's not necessarily like... It's not trying to make the most of the... Right. Where this game seems like it's trying to do that, but... It... Is it a Switch That's exclusive? Yeah. yeah, no, it's on, the, it's on Steam. Oh, okay. So, honestly, I would recommend probably picking it up on Steam during a sale because it would probably get away from that post-processing stuff that's happening on the Switch to make it look better. But, um, yeah, you play through it, and every fucking thing you do passes time like crazy. Traveling? So, it does the it's weird Bravely Default thing where you go into this main world hub, and you run along this path to go to a town or the dungeon or whatever. But the day-night cycle is like two minutes long. Yeah, basically. That's bravely default. Is is similar? The day-night cycle is maybe five minutes long. Yeah. And so you're not stuck on a path, but nevertheless, it's running very fast. Running time. from your house to the town, which is literally like the straight, it's a diagonal line. The in-game time can be like forty minutes for running this short line. Running to the first place where you can actually fight enemies and collect stuff takes two hours wow. in game time. And you're like, what the fuck? You take like five steps and 10 minutes pass. And you're like, what the fuck? What is going on? You craft stuff, that takes time. 
When you go through dungeons, there's ladders that can be repaired to make it so that you can go through shortcuts a little easier and a little faster. It takes an hour of in-game time, so it you know, goes black and an hour progresses. So you are actually, like, you are actually genuinely encouraged to occasionally, like, do things later because if you try to, if you try to be a completionist on your first pass through an area or a dungeon, you're gonna lose, like, all of your time. It's, there's, the time management is not the best. This is why, this is why you should just play Spiritfarer. That's one of the more engaging time management games I've ever played. I that was the Corneo symbol, right? Oh no, yeah, that was a different easy. thing. Though. That's not the, that's not the, um... It's not the stat, but it, I think it is implying that you're, like, sort of getting close. Spiritfarer, by the way, a really good time management game. I didn't finish it, and I really, I probably should have started over. I found some aspects of the game move a little too slow, but it's also a game that's, like, about the vibe. And so it was not a game for me to want to play. It, it's it's definitely something I should have sat down and been like, I'm going to play this game for a while because I just need to be, I need to vibe with it for a long time. The idea of like, and there's a part of me with me that wants to be like, I'm going to play this game and get some, and be productive and get some things done. It's, it's Fear Fair was not a game for that. Not and so, and get stuff done. <laughs> And you know, there's nothing. And so yeah, Harvestella, like the time management was odd. The graphics are weird. The graphics are weird. Graphic fidelity, like its performance, is really strange. The whole thing, the whole time, though, I'm like, I don't hate this. I want to kind of see what's happening. I want to kind of see what's going on. The, these the characters and the story is just like Bravely Default meets like a Final Fantasy Tactics game. That is exactly the character design. It's really Bravely mm -hmm. Default. And I, how I explained it before is take Rune Factory 5, slap Bravely Default characters on it, and paint Final Fantasy 13 over the top of it, and you have Harvestella. Yeah, I was going to say, Bravely Default does have a very specific... Like, the way they build the proportions of their chibi characters is very specific. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it makes sense. Where's the stash? Oh, maybe I was um, going the right way. You need to continue... I think this was the right way. Yeah, it's further in, I believe. This, uh, I, do I have a note or do I just say? I think this is the right way. Yeah, I just have a note that's, and, and also you can come back down here too if you miss it. Okay. As long as you don't end the chapter, you're not locked out of it. Um. So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't hate what was being played, but I thought some of the, there's zero, like, zero voice acting until about three hours in, and then the characters you interact with all of a sudden have one-liners. Like, the shopkeepers will introduce themselves or say mm. something to you. The main doctor chick who's been talking to you the whole time, all of a sudden when you talk to her is, oh, I'm sleepy or something like that because it's in the morning. So that's a really odd well, okay, I design do choice. I do have a question. I know that the, the, the intermediary season is called Quietus. Yes. Is the idea that that season comes and goes? Yes. Is it that when Quietus ended, it Sorry, I can hear you over Tifa destroying this wear rack. Is it um, how you did Star Shower? I fucking love Star Shower. Um, is it that during, during Quietus, there's no voice acting, and then during regular seasons, there is? Uh, I don't think so. Did you? That I just wouldn't shock me if that just somehow slipped by you and you didn't realize that. No. But I also don't know. I just that's an right. intuition based on the fact that, that they call that season here. the bad season is quietus. I never got so the, the idea that like the world is silent did. during quietus or something like that. Let's just mm -mm. keep moving. No. Wouldn't shock okay. me. No, it's just a bad thing. Okay. The trunk lines. Quietus, by the door. way, a plus One name though. That's cool. Yeah, we heard. Well, the funny thing is their other game that this studio has made is also about Quietus. Oh. It's called like the Knights of Quietus, which is, I don't know if they, if they, and that's the place I need to go is, is up there, huh? Yeah, you're fine to continue. The stash is further in, I think. Is it? I think so. I hope so. The sewers are pretty long. Are you in? Have you been to Aqueduct One yet? 
Well, I'm about to go to Aqua Deck 7, so... Maybe? Yeah, well, I'm in Aqua Deck 1. Aqua Deck 1 is where... Did you find a bio materia and I just didn't see you do it? No, I didn't find one. Southwest corner is okay. what I see. I can go look. Yeah. Um, we still got that. We have. We will definitely finish this chapter tonight. We just yeah. Gotta, and so sense. I really, my, after playing the demo and like, it has some cool things. But the, the the like character design. If you like the Final Fantasy Bravely Default character design, it's great. Story seems interesting. The farming is very basic, which is fine. It doesn't need to be anything fucking amazing. It just needs fun, which it's very Rune Factory like. So if you like that style of the farming, then awesome. Yeah. Um, I expected a better battle system from a game made by Square Enix. That's fair, I think. It is very much... So, like, at least with Rune Factory, you have a... Um, you have a dodge button, so you can actually dodge people's attacks and stuff. This game is, like... No, you have a dash. By the way, it also consumes your stamina, which you need to do everything else in the game with. So it very much tries to force you to do... Um, you have a stomach a hunger gauge. And so, like, it wants you to eat so that your stamina will be filled, which is fine. That's fine. Um, it's just really forced upon you. Eh, okay, all right, okay. Um, but then, like, so you can run and dash, and then the attacking is literally just, like, run up to them and hack and slash. That is the attack. And then you get a skill, because you can do job points, so you can get a fire attack. And then about most of the way through your gameplay, you get, um... You get a job change, you change to a mage. And then your skills change, and then when your skill changes, your clothes change. So you're like, okay, I see the I see the gameplay loop here. I see the I see the fun part about this. This is really neat. Let's do this. And then you get your ass whooped because you're like level seven and you see like four level nine goblins and you're like, it should be fine. This should be okay, and then you realize you can't dodge roll, and you just get ass blasted. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> all right, uh, I didn't expect that, but okay, sure. I really think the combat is the weakest point of the game, and that's super odd coming from Square Enix. Because it really does look like the Bravely team did this game, or half of the Bravely team did this game. Well, but the Bravely team, admittedly, the Bravely team, if it's them, they're all turn-based. Yeah. I know. What's going on here? These fucking these um, stupid idiots. The uh, Sahagans. Yes, they're insane, man. I remember having trouble with Sahagans. Oh boy. You get frogged too. I did get frogged. Oh shit. You should have. Oh, right. Cloud has auto life still. Yes, yeah. that one item. Ain't dead yet. Okay, that'll help. Don't overdo it. Let's say Barrett has Thunder Eye, and that deletes Scissor Grabs. Well, the problem so is, is he's still a damn frog. Oh, you should have an Together. Echo's Maiden. Or a Maiden's Kiss. You should have a, a Maiden's Kiss. Um, you probably don't have a ton of them, but you don't deal with Frog very much, so I just use it. Yeah, these guys here are a real big pain in the ass. I remember having trouble with Sahagans too, and I don't remember what their like weakness is. I just remember they are kind of Fire. tough to deal with. There we go. Don't know what happened. I don't know what happened either, Cloud. We got our ass fucking annihilated there, dude. Um, so it's just a it, it has potential, but they want to charge sixty dollars for it, and I don't agree with that. I 
I and I feel I mean I feel bad for the like the the devs that poured into this game but like I really don't understand how you can charge $60 for a game that's like this mm. so wait for a steam summer sale absolutely pick it up for less than $30 but other than that maybe do like a wonderful life or something like that mm. something a little bit more refined or established unless you want the, like the definitely final fantasy-esque story because it definitely has like church's evil type vibes and shit um so that will definitely be there okay i have the map location exactly for this materia so look at sector six old aqueduct oh, well sector so six it says Sector 6 Old Aqueduct. That's the name of the location specifically. Can you please take out the damn. Thank you, Tifa. Jesus Christ. AI, dude, literally anything. Yeah. Like, literally anything. Materia, yeah. time materia improved. That's good. Okay, so look at your map. Before, no, you're already fighting, are you? I'm fighting shit. I'm gonna kill it. These guys are luckily fairly. They're calm. not. They're not bad. No. Especially with one level two. Except this fucking guy Maybe showed up. Asleep, I think. This guy showed up out of nowhere. Oh, it's no one here. So he got summoned almost. Call me fire. Let's finish this. These guys are a little too tough for no reason. I think I agree with you on that. Kind of weird. Okay. Look at your map. Go to Sector 6 Old Aqueduct. I see Bitch! It. I see it as like the bottom most one in the list. Bench. Okay. Also, though, you should genuinely consider Spirit Fair. Little indie game, very charming. Uh, sad, because um, it's uh, your job is to convince spirits to actually pass on to the next life. Sector six aqueduct. Old aqueduct. It's below restricted area, so I think you need to continue. I think you just need to play the story right now. Okay. So I haven't missed it. Yeah. All right. So anyway. just keep going. It must be a new area. For the materia, that's that appears to be this, and then I guess for the um, when when it's time to get the uh, the stash, we'll just have to look, keep an eye out for it. It's marked on the map, so but it's, yeah, it's probably further ahead. We just haven't seen it yet. Uh, okay, more yeah. games. Harvestella, wait for a uh, wait for a sale. That's my final bit. Wait for a sale. Bayo three. Oh yeah, I need to play Bayo one and two. I mean, they're they're good. They look cool and fun. And Bayo three looks like more of the same ridiculous shenanigans which is great which means the whole reason why people like devil may cry is more ridiculous nonsense yep, and that's and that's what bayonetta is about but just a uh, way more feminine that's fine uh, we're all about the, equality the, here the new character is cool. i really like viola's desire i think she looks cool um so sad i haven't seen anything about loki he's one of the characters in two and he's really fun, and I, I really... He was one of the favorite things I liked about 2, and I just haven't seen him yet. That's it. Bayonet is not an easy game. <laughs> so you might get your ass handed to you in that game. I mean, I've played... It's I've awesome. I've played my fair share of uh, Devil May Cry. Uh, yeah. I played 1, 2, 3, and 4. 2, like, Is it and one of the DMC games that really bad? The DMC game. I said DMC. DMC two is fine. I thought it's... one of them is, is bad, if I recall. Or is it four, maybe? Um, I didn't like four because of the new character, but doubt. it wasn't bad. I just remember I've heard that one of them is bad. I've heard one of them is just like. I think it's game. people don't like two a lot. Maybe it is that one. I don't know. Um, I liked two. I was. I thought it was a fun game, but I was a lot. I was a. Preteen teenager when I played it, and I thought it was fine. Okay. Next one is series. What's it called? Code Rain. Rain. Oh. 
Oh, this is the Dagon Ropa game, right? It's like a detective puzzle game. But... Right, but it's made by the Dagon Ropa people, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. And this is very much a not for me, Same. but fine for the kind of thing. People seem excited about it, it but they're worried like that the some... worried about the what's it called the 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 fan base of Dagon Ropa for ruining it. Some people are just worried about that for some reason. All I know is that said, I look at this and some of this, I'm like, this looks, this looks like a lot. Uh, so like, this not really sure. Maybe it's really fun. Maybe it's really fun. Yeah, I'm. I mean, oh yeah, the stash is in here. Yeah, I was like, we haven't even gotten to this part. I'm like, it's. We have to go through this part now because when we were through here, there was like rushing water, and now we have to go through. Well, there's no rushing water, but then there's other stuff going on. Uh, Resident Evil, hey, fine. I just I don't have any comments. Before? It's cloud sure. version. It's probably not going to be very good in that sense, yeah, unless yeah. you have really good internet. I mean, really, if the if the cloud stuff can work on the Switch, that's awesome for the Switch. But I think it will only work for people who have really good internet. There's also no reason for two and three to be cloud. Those games are not new enough to challenge the Switch. We're talking about the remasters, or are we talking about the originals? It just, oh, I mean, even then. It just, it, I felt surprised to see that two and three were listed as cloud versions. It doesn't feel like they need to be. Yeah. But I don't know, maybe. We won't hold back. And then, uh, so then we go to Sifu, which is apparently really cool. Apparently the game is also really hard. It looks like it's very much technique based and like learn and like really pay attention. Which, hey, if there's one thing I've learned about watching people play video games on the internet is, boy, do they not do that. <laughs> um, I don't know what you're talking about. Luck up? Nice. You've improved so much materia tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, no, watching other people play video games, and I'm like, I know I've played this game, and you haven't, and it's, but also, like, my god. <laughs> my brother in Christ. It's on screen. It literally said the words. <laughs> Wait. You just had to pay attention. Um... But yeah, Sifu looks cool. Uh, it's Crisis on Core. PS5, I think. Too. Getting close to yeah. Corneo's hideout. Crisis Core, which we already... How the about. fuck is that game going to run on the Switch? I don't know. Poorly, probably. Really bad. Uh, some sort of bullet hell game. I like bullet hells. Bullet hells are fun. A weird sci-fi roguelike? Oh yeah, this is the one that our friend is excited for. Well, you you insisted that he would be incited, excited. Because no, no, he his... talked about it. No. Oh, no, that like, was a different is... game. That was a different game. Yeah. This is Endless Dungeon, which, I mean, hey, if you like roguelikes, seems yeah. fun. If you do like them. Okay, next. Um, I just don't have any comments. Looks cool. I don't need to go that way yet, I'm assuming. I need to go explore the rest of this area. Um, Let's save. We'll just The easiest way is to save and load if we need to. Yeah, I'll send you a picture in Discord of where you're, exactly you're supposed to go on the map. You're close enough now that... Um, well, I don't want to walk this way, and then he's like, hey, by the way, this is where we're this fighting. Is... Yeah. Okay. So how are we supposed to get this is the side? location of the Materia, not the location of the Through stash, here. but... Then you're telling me we're not done? Sorry, guys. But it's not that simple. Look at this fat dude. Oink, oink, motherfucker. No. Wait! We gotta catch him! Huh? He took the key to the door! Without it, we're screwed! Let's go. Am I supposed to be doing the key stuff yet? Um. Bastard went that way. Yeah. Bring it. Bring it. There. That's it. It's on you. Uh, okay. Tales of Symphonia Remaster. I don't know how to feel about this one. To be completely honest what do you mean? with you, this is great. This game is not. A, it's a two disc GameCube game. It is not super accessible. I uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, I, yeah, it's I, also like the Tales game. It's the 
most iconic one that people all people are generally most consistently like this is the best one. No escape. I guess that's true. That's true. And it looks cool. I played. You're the done. First. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we never finished. It. Uh, it was fun. I really enjoyed playing it with my friends. It was. I played that game in the last summer of college. Between it was between when I worked at Target and finish. I did that during evenings and summers through the end of high school and through my and whenever I was home for college the first two years, or the first year. And then after my junior year of college, I'll end this. I had a championship. So after my sophomore year of college, that one summer, where we the one all summer, didn't do anything. I had like I technically still worked at Target, but it was like ten hours a week, and I'm pretty sure I missed a bunch of shifts because my because it, my schedule was so inconsistent that I couldn't remember, I couldn't keep track of what days I worked, and they would have me come in for like three hour shifts. So I was just I just fucking hated it. Um, but I wasn't doing anything else, and so that was the summer I played. I can't remember if I played Tales to? and oh. Eternal Sonata it's the same summer, or if they were two different years. But I know that one of the one of these summers, I think it was that one, was the one I was playing with. Is that the one where we sat down and we tried to get really fucking good at Mario Tennis? I think that was the same summer, and and I was like, and I tried to tell you guys, I was like, the AI on this game is insane. Oh hey, this is the place. It's the southmost part of this area. Um, yeah, we, uh, you and I tried to be like I tried the to, I, hardest AI of Mario I was Tennis. Like, you guys you guys were so convinced like whatever it's just it's just you know video game ai it and fucking we just like couldn't it, win it annihilates you we just could not win we, f we sure um, as hell tried though yeah okay then we go into a montage and i am just gonna go right through the montage we're not gonna stop and look at any of it Okay, then kirby's return to dreamland re redux or deluxe or whatever which cool I yeah, feel I, mean, I feel parts. weird though, right? Because we just had a Kirby game, so I don't know. Remake. I guess oh, it's yeah. Or, or are you talking Dream Buffet? I'm talking. I'm talking the newest game that we just had. Dream Buffet. Is that what it's called? You're good at this. The racing game? That's no, uh, the main Kirby game. A, you know, you're thinking Forgotten Land, but. Dream Buffet also is a brand new game that came out since then. It's Why do we have three Kirby games in a fucking year? I know. It's cool. I get it. Um, Kirby's very popular, but also like, wow, you know. Seems I a want, bit I, much. Air Ride, please. Yes. Air Ride, please. Please. That's all I want. I would love to just sit down and play Air Ride again. And actually, like, maybe make some meaningful progress, because I did not understand how it worked. Alright, and then finally, at the end. Oh yeah, the big, the big thing. Here's of the kingdom. Yay, we got Breath of the Wild 2, yay! Did you, so one thing I did see, though, that people mentioned. Neo Tears of the Kingdom, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In your mind, in your mind's eye, picture the symbol of the Sheikah used in all of the games, but very notably in Breath of the Wild. It looks like a tear, right? It's an eye with a tear coming out the bottom. So, yeah. like, that's curious. But then we've also seen in one of the trailers, they showed this thing where there was, like, water that drift up. But like, I don't know, water yeah, the dripping physics didn't tear, fucking make sense. But like, but like, hey, a teardrop, maybe that's our tear. Or like, who knows? There's all sorts of things. Hey, you found it. I did Poison find it. materia. Good job. Okay. Really One more secret stash target. open. Oh, and I actually, I have a list, I have a note about the materia, and I don't know if it's in the stash that you haven't opened yet, or if it's in one you already did. But we're almost, we're almost done. We're good. No, yeah, anyways, um, Tears uh, of the Kingdom. Looks wonderful. Cannot wait. Oh, um, yeah, people are, are speculating that, like, the seven tiers are... Are there seven like amulets that are f that are focused on in the first beginning? So we'll have dungeons back again. 
Um, it's a possibility that we'll have a more traditional Zelda experience, for sure. Like, if we mix only thing, traditional Zelda experience with Breath of the Wild, I'm in. I'm in. I think that'll be great. If the main thing, I think, is that is we, we talked about this, like, either the day of or the day before. It was the day before. About how people... There was this one person on Twitter slash YouTube who speculated very heavily that Dragon was the central element of this game. And boy, he was right. He was yeah. spot on. Yeah, Ho holy <laughs> shit. You were right. Dead on. Dead on. He just, he just nailed it. He picked up on all the context clues and he was like, yeah, this game is going to be about the dragons. Sure as fuck. There it so, was. Yeah, and, and well, yeah, what do you know? Props to him. Okay, well, that was it. That was the direct. Still here. Oh, god damn it. We got through it all. Well, it took, only took the entire cast. No, we still have an hour. And then we have uh, Sony's State of Play, dude. Man, was that cool? If you like samurai games. They announced yep. another. Wow, that was a true event. Whoa. They uh, yep. they announced like a Yakuza game, a sp uh, another game made by the people who make Yakuza or Yakuza, whatever you want to say, and then a game that never came to the West ever, but is now getting a remake on modern systems so that's coming we got to see hogwarts for a second also we got did not see any of the hogwarts stuff we uh, we got playstation nfts baby oh really i didn't hear about this oh god okay so a while back we speculated on what the playstation loyalty program will be and you can't, like, they're going to host challenges and games or whatever, and you can earn these points, and these points can get you something. And then it turns out that, like, what they can get you are these little models of different things that ju I, they're just fucking NFTs. It's just I, fucking blockchain assets. I swear to God, they're just, they're literally just there to be fucking NFTs, and I'm livid. Got you now. Yeah, I, I will say, the only thing I'll say about that is... At See you, Michael. Point, Get some rest, buddy. You should... Yeah, do not feel bad. Go rest. Yeah, go sleep, do your thing, stay safe, stay healthy. Um, at a certain company size, I give a pass to NFTs, because at a certain point, a company is big enough that they do everything, good, bad, or otherwise. So, I'm not... Like, small companies who have to make the choice to get into NFTs or whatever other bullshit, then I, then I feel like I can and should hold them accountable. But for some of them, I'm like, you know, this is a huge company. Somebody at this company is going to be a crypto bro and is going to want to get into it. And, like, that is not necessarily reflective of the entire company. And so in the case of Sony, like, I don't love it, but it's not... It's not going to make me stop supporting Sony. It's Whereas also some... not fucking unheard of for them to do something like this. Right. Whereas smaller Take companies, right. I'm like, I'm yeah, I'm less inclined. Good By the way, I think you should back up. Boy. I think... Don't go any further. If it'll I even can't. let you. It won't let you go back? Nope. Okay, then keep going. I'm pretty sure you walked past the stash, but I'm not sure. Uh... Maybe not. Maybe not. Just go ahead. It's up ahead. Okay. Yeah, it's up ahead. So my mother is texting me about this, and I actually completely forgot about this, but um, with Avatar 2 coming out soon, Avatar 1 is getting re-released to theaters with, like, 4K HDR uh, remastered. I'm trying to take the title as number one movie again, huh? Yeah, which, like, whatever, but also, like, I, I do remember having very fond memories of seeing Avatar in theaters. I, I do kind of want to see it again. Oh, the water needs to be drained before I can. Yes, do that's this. that's the trick. That's what I'm, I'm like. There's something about this one that's different. There's a valve somewhere. Uh, like I said, no matter what, as long as you don't end the chapter, you can get back here. But there's this, there's some shenanigans. Where's this water valve at? 
Uh, it must be later on. It must be later on. I don't remember exactly. Just keep going for now. Like I said, you'll know. It'll be pretty well signposted when you can it can't do stuff. Um, I do kind of want to see Avatar, though, again. We're going to go see Avatar. We, we watched it, I think, last year or earlier this year at home. Um, and, like, I... Broadly speaking, people's comments about the movie of being like not quite. It's like in this weird cultural zone where like it was. A I mean, for when it came deal. out, it was a huge deal, and it and, graphically was like, like gorgeous. Right, but like nobody really talks about the story or anything. Because I mean, especially just Pocahontas. Right, and so it just it's just weird in this weird state, and that was um, that's just a little odd. However. Uh, yeah, we watched it, like I said, we watched it, it was either earlier this year or late last year. I don't know, it was still a fun watch, like, I didn't have any beef. It was, it was perfectly fine to watch. I don't have any beef in the movie at all, I just, it, it just very much is, um... Please, let me attack the right one. I don't want to attack the one that all of a sudden ran up on my dick, I want to attack the one that I just hit with a giant fireball. You're done. Dude, this is gonna start annoying the shit out of me. I won't give up. Well, I mean, okay, but like, you're not dealing with the ads. And that's their job, is to make it hard for you to kill the, no, the main one. <laughs> like, kill the fucking main to, one, bro. You're falling victim to like video game 101 where you're not dealing with the little minions first. Nah, fuck that shit. Kill this guy. Oh, I, I'm indifferent about the Avatar game. It looked, I vaguely recall it looking cool, but like that's about all I've got to wear of. So it looks vaguely cool. There's gonna be an Avatar game? Oh yeah, there is gonna be an Avatar game! <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? I think it's like an RTS or something? I don't remember. Was it? I don't remember. It Was seemed it? cool. I mean, it shows me how much I remember about it. Did you just... Oh, you summoned Carbon. I thought you summoned Leviathan down here, which I was like, I don't think it will actually let you summon Leviathan down here. Oh, shit. Um, because it's too small. You actually can't, you can't summon the, the really big ones uh, everywhere. Oh, damn. I thought Carbon would end and heal me. Oh, no, because the battle ended? No. Yeah. Is that what you want out of here, buddy? One of you dies, he does. Come out of here, Bubba. Um, we know we know some stuff, Corbin, and it's very weird. Um, for example, Sigourney That's Weaver is back key. as a different character. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so That's, That's a choice. Not your pendant um, either. Curious to see how it plays out. Uh... It was all just a dream, wasn't it? But one day? No. Time to wake up and forget. This is also not in the... God, they added a lot of stuff, which is fine. Day, Cornel picked her as a bride. I like how Leslie's fiance doesn't she even get a name. A trace. She's just Leslie's fiance. Before she did. She gave it back. Salt on the wound. Thing cost me a small fortune. I understand they wanted to world build this area, but like, come on now. You could have taken this part out, taken, taken this part out, and um, put in Red Thirteen. Let's go. Yeah, but I, I do. I really like Leslie, though. He's a cool character. I, I do not care about this man. I'll never be able to move on. Maybe your mind's about to be changed. <laughs> as long as you guys uh, But yeah, no, like the stash, and then you're basically done with this part. Thanks. And don't worry. I got you. <sighs> you all right? Oh, excuse me. I know a shortcut. Follow me. Um, so do I need to go through this door? Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see. So yeah, the the PlayStation Direct was was weird because it was. I guess at the end of the direct, we got more Ragnarok stuff, which really hasn't been talked about much. Um, which it looks cool. I'm excited for people who like the new God of War. I don't like the new God of War that much. Which I told them in the wrong, and that's completely fine. I understand. That's that's just fine. Um, but like, it seems odd that it was in this state of play. When there was also like, just it, it really seemed like a, an opening to Tokyo Game Show, was really what this PlayStation State of Play was. But then Tokyo Game Show is today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, um, and today we got some Capcom news. And the most exciting Capcom news is more about Mega Man Battle Network. Fucking gonna have oh, yeah. online functionality. I'm yeah. so excited for that game. God, I love Battle Network. Ooh. I'm very excited for you. They're fun. I highly recommend them um, to most people. There we go. All right, there's, now I gotta go. Back. Yeah, that's it. there's the water. And then you go. And then um, go back. Yeah. I did forget there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. Fire Emblem Heroes actually got some interesting news too. Mm -hmm. So last night, they did uh, a surprise Faye channel, which is when they do a little video that's like they're about upcoming announcement up. stuff. Yeah, like more than just here's the new heroes, but there's like more than that. And they announced a new kind of hero, which like they have legendary and ascended and whatever, all these different like that have special characteristics in some way. Mm -hmm. They announced a new kind of hero. Cool. But what this kind of hero is. God damn it. Is when you, so there's a thing in Fire Emblem. Oh, I'm not ready to do this. <laughs> oh, the Sagan Prince or whatever it is. I am yeah. not in. Um, you are not healed up or anything. So I don't have enough mana. I don't have enough. Anything. I forgot. I knew the Sahagan Prince was coming up, but I thought it was part of the main <laughs> Um. Anyways. So in Fire Emblem Heroes, there's this idea of skill inheritance where, let's say your copy of March has the skill Death Blow, which is a skill that, you know, lets you do more damage when you attack enemies. And you want to, you can sacrifice your copy of March to give, let's say, Roy the same skill, Death Blow. But you have to lose your copy of the one hero, but then you can give some of the skills that that hero has to a different hero, right? That's like one of the core customization aspects of the game. Um, is you can do that to uh, make your heroes better. Sure. They announced a new kind of hero who, whenever you summon him, one time per copy that you have, you can use them to inherit skills to another ally without actually sacrificing the unit. So they can give you a unit that has really cool premium skills, except... They don't actually, you can, and then you can give those premium skills to a different hero that you have, and you get one extra freebie. You can do this without actually losing the hero. So that's thing number one. So that alone is cool. It means that you can, you know, just makes premium skills a little bit more available. The other thing is that these, this special class of heroes, the armed hero, which the, se the theme seems to be heroes that are already in the game, but this is a slightly different version with a different weapon. That's why they're rearmed. The other thing is these rearmed heroes have a weapon. Which skills in the game broadly fall into two categories. So either they're inheritable, or they're what's called perfs or perfect, which are weapons that have weapons or skills which have some combination of effects, which are particularly unique or powerful, and so you're not allowed to give them to other characters, right? Or they're like signature to the character involved, right? So Marth uh, has a falchion, which is a special sword. He cannot give his falchion to anybody else because okay. it's special to him. Y'all think okay. we got everything? These Push new me, rearmed heroes one. have it's weapons, not be easy selling this stuff. which, by all accounts, oh, I know. What are about Marth? We could ask her to they're help. These perfect I'm weapons. sure she'd be happy to. Except. Okay. So either you can return to her now, by the way, and turn the quest in now, or you can just turn the quest in after you finish this quest, which is what you should do. 
you're I'll basically turn it afterward. Yeah, just finish this real fast now. There's also a chest right there that you is right in front of you. I know, but I need to heal before I fucking forget. Oh well, I mean fair. Anyways, they have a weapon which is like on par with perks, but it is also inheritable. So what this is gonna do, and 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 again, you get one freebie where you get to give the skills to another unit without it's using. Just, it's just power creep. Well, but more importantly. It's not even that it's power creep, because it's on par with what new allies get, but because it's inheritable, it breathes life into a whole bunch of old characters who just have fallen by the wayside because of power creep. Yeah. But now you can take your favorite unit, who had an otherwise not useful stat distribution or a skill that just, you know, didn't make the cut, and you can give them this new perfect, this new really, really good weapon. Which is just really cool. It's just a really, it's a, it's actually a surprisingly well balanced idea, and they took some care to make sure that it isn't gonna break the game. That's good. Um, but it's just, it's actually just a really neat thing. Like I said, that it lets you take characters that otherwise probably wouldn't see the light of. Make them viable. I can use this. I can use my favorite character all the time. But it's just interesting. I'm curious to see where it goes. Is there a bench anywhere nearby? Fuck. I think there will be a bench before you have to. Yeah, it looks like we'll walk past. Do the one. next thing. I think. Um. Right. If not, there's probably one nearby that you can go get real fast. Bench. Yep, right here. Thank goodness. Okay. Holy guacamole. So now you do this. I feel like I need to give Tifa fire while we're down here. Fuck. Fire elemental? I actually don't think you want to. No, just fire, oh, the spell. fire elemental. I mean, does she is she casting anything right now? No, Maybe she casts bio. Her, well, let's it. say bio is not elemental damage. That's what I was going to suggest. It's just using that more often. Just be poison. Just even if they're immune to it, it still does. I think on hit, it still does damage. That said, also just be using unbridled strength all the time. Oh, there's also a uh, bench right here as soon as we walk in. Yeah. But say, I'm pretty sure they're pretty kind to you. Because, big shock, you are about to go fight a boss. No way. <laughs> if that wasn't painfully obvious. What? How did you know? Are you really excited about the fact that the, uh, the next... Uh, chapter doesn't have any side quest items or weapons you have to find. You just Thank get to play the game. God. We're actually pretty close to being done, right? It's Four Leslie. more chapters. Got some urgent uh, at the end of this one, we're God. three more chapters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're close to being done. Asterisk, asterisk. The end of the game is hard. Of course. <laughs> really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually... It's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. Uh. <coughs> Damn. Don knows when people are trying to kill him. Leslie. I don't think I need to remind you why I'm down here. I hate him. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. I'll let you in on a secret. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! I'll be lucky to live another week. <sighs> Leslie. I was gonna let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! Villains like us only divulge our evil plans 
in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm? The belly physics are great. When you think you've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Oh, it's you. You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Oh, not another one of these stupid fucking things. This guy was annoying as fuck already. Now I gotta find another one? Oh wait, is it the same one? It is the same one, it's his pet. I didn't kill it? There's no pipes. No, you scared it away at the end. Oh, god damn it. First him, then Corneo. I love that. Don out! And then he just darts out the fucking door. Uh, but yes. It's the same one, there's no pipes. Or no, there are pipes. But I don't think they... I don't think it does the same thing. This fight's different, I think. Have fun! Mm, we have different definitions of the word. Fun! But hey, good on you for actually attacking. I've been seeing more and more people call them ads. Yeah, and ads. Yeah, it's, a, it's an MMO it's, term. I was about to say, that sounds like an MMO term because I'm not like. It makes sense. Because it's always like. Well, it's, it's always said during the game. Which. Um, Kill the ads first. That's something I've got really. Just the additional interested. mobs. Yep. And mobs being. Do you know what mob stands for? Uh, no. Uh, I believe it's mobile enemies. I think the mob is from mobile. Is that all of them? All right, what is this idiot week to? He can't be slowed, I don't think. Is that what that gear means? The gear is time, yeah. So he can't be slowed. He is immune. To, yes, gear down is is slow. Gear up is haste, and gear like equal sign is stop. There's like an equal sign or a sideways equal sign, and that's stop. Damn, I really should have given you know, like, uh, Tifa fire the before way, fucking walking in here. I doubt this thing can No, I don't stop. have stop. I have slow. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that's what the upgraded area did, is you got slow. Okay. So I think you can get haste, or you can get stop at some point. Access this idiot. You mean what? assess? Yeah. Did I say access? You said access. I was like, I'm oh. not sure what you mean. My bad. Yeah, fire. He might. Does he do the thing where he changes uh, weaknesses or whatever? Oh, oh no, he does still do pipe shit. Okay. But this one was scripted anyways, so. Man, there are so many of these fucking little dudes, though. If I recall, it's gonna get up to, like, the last quarter of the alphabet during this fight. With the, with the ads. This one... I just wish it lot. was... It, like, after you do a certain amount of damage to them, it stops, um... Focusing them. Which is really strange. Are you... Do you have lock on enabled? Yeah. Are you clicking the, the R stick? Yeah, it's, I'm locked on right now. And so you're not, it's not that you're accidentally bumping it to the next target? No, I don't even touch the right stick that much. Okay. I, then I don't know. Oh, you're still going, huh? Okay. Did the frickin' know? He's going back up. Don't forget about regen if you need it. And also haste. Since you're doing the AoE haste, it doesn't actually last very long. 
See, like, yeah, once you do a certain amount of damage to them, they become untargetable. It looks like you're actually depleting the health bars. But yeah, and then they just they, they just run away. Run away yeah. Rather than just dissolving or whatever they normally do. You know, he just did provoke. I wonder if those other times he was also doing provoke, and I wonder if that's a taunt. Yeah, it is. Excuse me. I need to go take my allergy medicine. Mm, I'm gonna triple slash here. Yeah, I mean, it gets these little guys. Not the worst idea. And then we're gonna have... Were you gonna... Are you gonna cure Cloud at all? It happened. I know, and then he got fucking hit again. <laughs> Move, move, move! Oh, there's another one behind me. It didn't tell me which one it was. Cool. So now he's mad. Let's get yeah. Carbuncle out, please. I'm surprised you didn't want to go Leviathan for big fight. Actually, he's resistant to ice, isn't he? Yeah, ice doesn't affect him at all. Or wait, what is, is Leviathan ice? Leviathan is he... water. Water isn't in this game. Then it's ice. Then, or he's either ice or he's he Whoa! What the fuck? He just killed him! What the fuck was that? He was at f like three quarter health! Yeah, yeah, he did. What the fuck was that shit? Don't, don't forget he has auto life. He didn't need to use the Phoenix down. I'd rather use the Phoenix down now and use the auto life when I'm in a worse situation. Uh, I hope he retained it. I don't actually know if he did. Oh, interesting. I You're don't saying know. it gets I rid of it if you don't do it fast enough? Uh, or it gets yeah, rid of it regardless? I'm wondering if you used the item and got a no effect at the same time your auto life did its normal Interesting, device. I see what you're saying. I don't know, maybe. It looks like Cloud doesn't have the status anymore. It's nope. also possible he died earlier than you didn't notice it. No, he didn't. And the auto life happened. But hey, that heal came at a really good time because Bear took a huge hit and then got healed. Well, Which, cool. He stepped forward two centimeters, and so my crush slash didn't hit. That's pretty sweet. I do like that, that about sucks. this game. Um, I will say about healing. One thing that Octopath has. Got to talk about Octopath more. One of the things I didn't even realize, um, which is really. I have never played a game that's utilized this, even though I know it's kind of a thing in other games. Octopath has Which is just not something that I see in games these days very much. And what? Overhealing. I do like overhealing games, yep. And it's really interesting because it's very useful in Octopath because you don't even get... The overheal cap is 9999. The uh, health... The maximum health, if you build it, you can get somebody to like 5k, but you can basically get your mages with 2k health and you can still just have them have 10,000. Because if you make your cleric or your healer, okay? if they have the ability that lets Where's them overheal or whatever and all the things are aligned, Sorry, you can get away. crazy heals. It's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Huh? She could still be out there. You can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? 
What was she trying to tell me? We'll meet again. Huh? It's a symbol of reunion. I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Reunion, there's that I word again. Yeah. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here. And then I'll give you what you need. Um, so we can go up? And be fine. You can go up. He will tell you very explicitly. Um, so we gotta go. We go up, and then we go turn it in, and then we're done. Uh, yes. Basically, yes. Okay. Okay. You might have to. It might just put you right in a cutscene, but that's fine. You will get a straight up dialogue box that says, uh, "Do you want to proceed?" That and that's what you want to not do. Small. Okay. <laughs> this way. Note that you walked by Gatling a chest guns. that you'll have to turn around and go get. You can practically if you didn't see it earlier. The souped up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But they're one way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order, just in case. Thank so you. he's basically telling us from this point on. Didn't tell you before. Once you cross that wall, someone. you are starting the end of the game sequence. Right. Yes. Okay. Hope you find it. You too. Go. Hmm. Okay. Return. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Return tomorrow. Yeah, that's what. We that was do. the whole thing. Where now it's gonna take you away from here, <laughs> and then you have to come back to open that chest, and then there will be a thing in front of you. It's it's like a weirdly poorly planned thing, but yeah. There to be used to help the people. All right, DRB, just rebuild. one sec. The angel of the I need slums? to take that medicine. You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. Da -da -da -da. Make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use it more than me. Oh, Cloud gained some SP. That's nice. Ooh. That's nice. Oh, sweet. He finally has a new freaking. Okay, thing. back. I was about to say, yeah, you should have a ton of SP. You leveled up a bunch. Not a ton. I mean. But some. More than 30. And hey, materia slots, especially oh, for hard edge, God. which, like, you really. Get Dude, fucking age. bloodsucker, absolutely. Yeah, for that's not gonna be maybe the best for the one on one fights, but like it's still gonna be really good. I mean leading up to fights and stuff keeps you alive yep. longer. Yep. Uh also true. Yep. Take slightly less damage, plus boost when guarding. Dude, steadfast block actually seems fucking really good. And I have all my greens equipped, so that's the best you can do Let's at this point. Go. All right. Um, we have one more quest to. Wait. Um, no, we do not. That is everything. So you now need to go back to where you were. 
Sweet action, baby. And you get a reward for doing all of the quests. Hmm. When I So now you pop back to that where you popped out next to Corneo's mansion. You should see it on the map. There will be like a tunnel to the side of Corneo's mansion. Or not a tunnel, an alley. Um, oh, because we opened up the door. Yeah. Right, and right, so... right, 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 Back, 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 Um, so you need to go check. There's a chest, and then there will be a, there will be a sh something shining on the ground that you should see. Um. Yep. Oh, there's actually a. Wait, no, I'm crazy. I thought there was, but no, it's right here. We go this way. Yeah, the urban advan or no? Oh, no, it's just. It's just this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, you will have things like shops and stuff, so you don't need to worry about that. If you wanted to be truly optimal, you would go spend a couple more Moogle medals, because I don't think you'll get to spend those again. I used most of them. I don't think I have. I think I might and have there's... enough for one more elixir, but I don't know if it's... it's I would not I would not worry about it too much. Is it to the side of his mansion, or is it in his mansion? It is the side of his mansion. Okay. You don't go in. Okay. Then it must be this. No, oh, it's not this guy. It has to be the other one. There's like this over here. Nope. Mm, yeah. right, so it's before I go. It's before the entrance then. Yeah, I think so. Is it this way? Nope. I mean, you could go towards the story objective, right? It's by the wall. Ah, so it's, it's it's tunnel? close to that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is this it? I think so. Look for the, there will be a little gate that goes down towards the sewer. So you got to go back down that little staircase. Oh, there's music too. That you walked by a guy. That was just fight on though. No, there was another one. It was question marks. The fuck? Don't I, saw, tell I you, man. saw fight on. I know, I and, then, and then a few seconds later, there was question marks. This song helps me to unwind after a long day at work. You look There's a bit a tired yourself. Here, listen. I'm not tired. Get the fuck out of my face. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess I could have gone down to this Sam's delivery thing and then it would have been fine because there's yeah, a that's fine. Like, shiny thing on the ground. Shiny thing on the ground. That's and then a chest. <clears throat> Letter from a guardian angel. Yes. Elemental. Ready to do this? Once we start up that wall, we won't be coming back here anytime soon. If you does it not read the letter? Or wait, you still have a chest. We won't be coming back here anytime soon. Better handle any unfinished business now, okay? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm doing it. There's a chest right back here, isn't there? Mm -hmm. It should be. There's a little side path. That's the one that technically you can like go in the back door of the sewers. I think. Mm. Where did it go? You're, you 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 pan the camera right by it. There's a tunnel down, and a staircase through an open chain link gate. Right there. You, it was yeah. So the chest. This is where you came out from the end of the right sewers. There. there we go. Yep. I don't even know if it's anything good. It just is. It's three Moogle medals, which might be enough to get me oh one more God. elixir. That's funny. I don't know if we'll do it. I think we'll just go. What's, well, yeah, we can watch this cutscene and then start this next chapter is there's nothing to find, nothing to get. We can just go. All right, this but, sounds like a good... Ready, we'll do this cutscene. This sounds like a good stopping point. Honestly. Yep. Chance I agree. Kind of a natural... And then next time when we start, we can just go. Yeah. Here we go. So. That's the plan. Reckon it suits you. Yeah, it does. Yes, Corbin. Used to think you were a little shit with a big attitude and a bigger inferiority complex. Quite possibly the worst person I have ever met. But that was before I figured you out. All this, it ain't you. 
Deep down, you're a pretty nice guy. Thanks, Tifa. Didn't see it when we were kids, but... I like Barrett. Don't know about any of that. But kindness is no use on the battlefield. If anything, it's a liability. Hey, no one's asking you to treat Shinra with kid gloves. <sighs> Aerith's up there waiting for us. Then we better get a move on, huh? Ready? <laughs> Power Rangers, assemble! The day Midgar stood still. Two goals. Goal one, kick some Shinra ass and save the planet. Goal two, save the girl while kicking more Shinra ass and get out. More Shinra ass. Copy. That was it. That was the only cutscene. I mean, you can keep going. Yeah, we'll keep walking a little bit. See That'd if there's any careful. more cutscenes. No there's no reason not to at this point. Win. This is a very linear chapter. There are chests for you to find, but no Where weapons, no go? materia, no side quests. I'm assuming the chests are just mad items as well. Yeah. Are you hurt? I went in front. Holy of shit! Four range of motion back. This is a really obviously it's a devastating chapter, hey, but it's really pretty. You guys might want to turn I don't know. They do the destruction well. It help. looks very good. It's too and dangerous for you, maybe. It feels dangerous. The climb. Just try to be careful. Okay. Yeah, how do you get to the how do you get to the plate in the base game in the original? And you go up the plate? Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't remember. I remember walking into Shinra's office. Like you walk into the office building. But the go the like after the plate has collapsed, you just go back up. I don't remember. I would honestly probably have to look it up because I do not remember. Because again, this section of the game is actually very short. Yeah. Will you please let me hit you? Thank you. There we go. Good job. Whatever, man. Let's go. Yeah, I have to look it up. Um, I'm not sure if it's just a sequence of climbing stuff. I, 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 I do not. Recall. Keep your cool. Oh shit. No need to work. Um, there's like a there's a part where you can go through and collect some you, know, you do some climbing you can collect a battery because people say it's um, there's like three batteries in the game and you only need two so one of them is like a, like a item collection checklist if you want to be that kind of gamer Um, yeah, I really don't remember. And I really should. But I've only played that game once. <laughs> so... I don't know. It's gonna come to me as soon as I'm done, too. I'm gonna be like, oh, yeah, you just do this thing. Why didn't I think of that beforehand? It was right in front of my face the whole time. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how far I want to go before. Oh, these guys are kind of crazy. All up to you. Like I said, this chapter 
is not a terribly interesting one. It's pretty straightforward. The meat of this, of the next little bit, is going to be the next chapter. Chapter 17 is also a really long one. Hang back. Damn, I don't have wind actually right now. Oh, and these really? guys, and these guys need wind. Oh, that might be worth doing. You also never, you didn't equip your elemental. Maybe no. what we should finish the stream with. Why would I need it? What is, do I need uh, it for? The elemental? Yeah, what do I need it for right now? This will hurt. Bio just works, dog. You could, you could keep a wind out of attack. Steady. Or you could give uh, Cloud fire. That would also be good. Apparently that's not going to be very good if one of the enemies soon is going to be weak to, or immune to... I think that was the test. Yeah, I could look up, I could look up the bosses of the final, the final fights and see what they're weak to, but... Um, the other one you could do is Ice, purely because Ice magic is actually kind of a pain to hit. And so having Ice... Um, as your elemental would still let you do it without having to worry as much about actually securing the hit. Um, no, don't overdo it. Let me handle yeah, let's see. Uh, I don't know, but I don't see any reason not to use it. Especially now that you... Well, the, the reason not to use it is the fact that I don't have connected slots. <laughs> You have a bunch of connected slots on people. There's definitely connected. not that are open. There is definitely connected slots here. That's using. a win. There's no way that you don't have any. Um, cloud just... might be the only. No, he's using haste. So we have to climb? Oh yeah, you're using magnify haste, there. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe it's Tifa's the only one who doesn't have yeah, one. I'm it's a miracle we have. I and, and elemental would be good for her kill. because you don't cast elemental magic, her, times over but then it would now. give her an elemental source of damage. Let's look. He's using that. He's using elemental with lightning still. Lightning, so you don't want to use another elemental because then it, no, you can't. It, it's a, so I and she's using AP up with her Bible, so I don't have a single connected slot that is open. Can you afford to connect a slot on somebody? Not at the moment. I know Cloud has one on deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cloud did. You could also switch. What weapon? Is is Tifa still using metal knuckles? Yeah. Yeah. And AP up on revive is the right call. Well, actually, though, AP up on revive does not need to be on your weapon. Do you have any connected slots on accessories that you're not using? Uh... Yeah, you do. Tifa even does. Tifa does. I think Cloud does too. Because AP up does yeah. not need to be on a weapon. Let me look. Save. Save. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Huh. My lightning and fire material that are maxed. A poison material that's maxed. Oh, I like my luck up material though. Makes me lucky. Our strike is maxed out. I don't know what I switch around at the moment though. Um. To make room for it, because we need binding. Poison is good. You don't really need luck up, and you also arguably don't need first strike on Tifa. First strike was really good on Aerith, but if it's maxed out, there's really I don't think you desperately need first strike on Tifa. I mean, it's really good for quick battles, but it's not great for long ones. It's good. HP absorption material is pretty nice. Is it only on kill or is it with any damage? What? Because if it's with any HP absorption, if it's any damage, that's fine. If it's only on kill, I'm not sure it's worth it. I don't think it's actually going to be that good. Um, 
Let's put it on this big dummy. Oh, it said Cloud had wind. Uh, on a different weapon. Oh, oh, right. It was grayed out. It was grayed out. You're totally yeah. right. I don't know if we... Mm. Also, I like refocus, but you could make the case that it's really only important in boss fights. I don't so. really like it that much. It's cool. I think it's good. Um, I don't know if it's... You know. Let's, 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 let's look. What do we need? Cleansing... Poison, Binding on Tifa, Barrier Maxed, Subversion on Cloud, Time on Cloud. Okay, yeah, we have everything. We got everything going so far. I might just put First Strike on Barret just to have him get, because he's my healer, so just in case. Um, just in case shit goes wild. This is a pretty good place to actually go ahead and give it a rest. Um, we had a little, small little cutscene, so we're ready to climb the tower. Yeah. Which, yep, level 30. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, climbing up and busting into Shinra. Yeah, you do do some weird climbing stuff, but it looks completely... Not surprised by that, at least. Um, yeah, the whole slum area just looks different. Oh, yeah, you don't shoot guns. You just climb up this pole. You don't, you don't. Oh, you just like go up some stairs, basically. No, you, I mean, in a sense, but like you, you, you actually like. You know how you would like shimmy up a flagpole? That's basically what you do. Yeah. And then it's very short, just like jumping around things real quick. Um, you jump up a couple of things and then you're like, it's it's a very short section. It's probably why I don't remember it because it's literally just jump, jump, climb up another thing, jump up, climb up one more thing, Shinra. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's very short compared to, yeah, and it's the battery like I, like I remembered. Um, okay. Is very short compared to this game. This game does drag stuff out a little bit. But that's okay. That's why we like it, right? That's, that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Yeah. That's why we're here. I still, I don't know. I still feel odd that it's only the first game being just Midgar. They have a lot of ground to cover in the next game, if that's going to be the that's, case. That's been my most, that's been my curiosity for this whole thing is... Okay, fine. People always tell me that Midgar isn't very long, but and to me, that's less of a concern than the fact that everything else is. <laughs> yeah, we have to we have to cover literally everything else in this in yeah. the, in the game, which is, I mean, a pretty decent amount. Like you leave Midgar and you immediately have, well, I don't know. It's a little different because it seems like in this game something happened to Sephiroth. He's dead, or so you think. And so, in the other, yeah, it's going to be a trilogy. It's going to be, it's confirmed a trilogy. Yep. Um, and like when you leave Midgar, they warn you, like, oh, there's this giant snake monster. You better not go into the forest or whatever. So right. you go around it or whatever, and you come back, and it's literally the fucking snake monster is skewered on a tree. And they're like, oh, Sephiroth must have done this. And you're like, what the fuck? All right, I guess that's cool. Um, also, haven't gotten to any of the Gen the Geneva Genova stuff at all, which is weird. I guess I thought I thought we do that pretty early in Midgar. Oh, it's, it's, in, it's in Shinra's tower. It's in Shinra's thing. We should be coming up on Genova stuff pretty soon then. Um, remember the DLC for 15? Do you think they might do that for some content post-release? I mean, they did integrate, so they have the Yuffie stuff. Yeah, and I imagine all the other games will also get DLC. Which doesn't make sense because Yuffie's not um, in this yet. All right, you don't meet Yuffie till way later when she steals literally all of your shit. And then runs off like a bitch.
Um, so that's gonna be it. Thanks, to YouTube. We mm. appreciate you being here. Um, we're ready to continue. What the fuck? Why is my sound on on my phone? Ready to continue and finish the game up soon. Um, I do think I would like to at least beat the game before the second week of October. Um, but we'll see. That's like three weeks from now. One, two, three. Uh, the story of this game? Yep, yeah, probably. Okay. Because we're done with 14, we're in 15, there's nothing extra to do. The only thing is, chapter 17 is long. <laughs> okay. Because um, um, I have a, I have an event, an after work event, which I could, we could actually probably still stream. I would just be a little later than usual. Um, on the Thursday, there's an after work thing. And then the 20th of October, I will not even be in the state at all. I'll be driving to Nebraska. <laughs> And then driving to Minneapolis on Friday. I see. Of the 21st of, Fe of October. So, um, might dampen um, a Thursday night that time. But we should we have, hopefully be finished with this story by then. We so. have four chapters. A chapter well, a week. Well, one of them is just cutscenes in a boss fight. One of them is, is this one, which is not long. But then also, like I said, chapter 17 is, is just... really a slog. It's just a slog. It's you know what? In all retrospect, it's probably not even that long. It it just is a slog. It's a bit of a slog. Okay. Yeah. It'll feel like it's fucking ten hours long when it's It'll only feel, like three. It's gonna take us one stream or whatever. But yeah, it's gonna yeah, feel yeah. Like it's I don't. Hard. I do. I wonder what. Curiously, what is the how long to beat on this game? You're at what thirty hours right now? Yep. How long to beat Final Fantasy VII Remake? Thirty-three hours is the main story. <laughs> Well, okay, I guess we're... But Completionist <laughs> is 86, which seems crazy. 42 main... and a half is like the main plus sides, and we're doing some of yeah. the side stuff. Also, yeah. Completionist for 40, for 86, that seems way too high. Unless they're counting intergrade. I don't know how. Yeah, seems... I don't know how. That's... Unless, But I guess at the same yeah. time, though, to get like all the achievements and all the dresses, you do have to spend a lot of time. Really? So probably 42 hours to finish the game, and we're at 30. So 12 hours, which is four more weeks of streaming. Yeah. Which is pretty good, really. I don't know if I believe 86 hours for a completionist. I really don't. I don't know how that could be true, is yeah. what I'll say to that. That seems... That seems a lot. There's not that crazy. much in this game. Maybe 60 hours if you struggle with like one part of the of the... But completionist basically means getting a platinum, and so you have to do that one motorcycle thing, and that might be hard for people. Well, potentially, you have to get all like, the dresses, so you have to play a bunch of chapters multiple times. Uh, maybe that's why. But you could just skip so, cutscenes. So you could skip cutscenes, and some of the chapters you would be able to do less, and some of the chapters you would do more, but like still. Maybe that's why they say you can't do it. Because we got the hardest dresses first, because we did all the all the side quests, so it actually wouldn't be that bad. But anyway, that's gonna be it for us, guys. Thanks so much for watching the VOD and the stream and the stuff and the things. We appreciate it. We'll be here same time, same place next week. Um, you know, like, subscribe, comment below. We have gotten some comments on these videos, and I really do appreciate it. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, these videos average like 10, 6 to ten views, so I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Join us on Twitch. It's a lot of fun. You see your little name pop up. You can do our cute little slime emotes and stuff like our cozy slime. You get weekly memes from me. You do get weekly memes in our Discord, and they're actually great. I, um, I, this one's was really good. I thought this one's was, <laughs> was pretty good. It was very it, which, good. which I will admit was hard to do because let me tell you what, <laughs> I have.